dicks. Suck our dicks. Yeah. Suck our dicks. Suck our dicks. Suck our dicks. Suck our dicks. Yeah. Suck our dicks. Suck our dicks. She kind of looks like Tippy Storm And she dance like a little each of She works down the snake farm Snake farm, it just sounds nasty Snake farm, it pretty much is snake farm It's a reptile house, snake farm Mona's got a keen sense of humor. She got a tattoo down her arm. It's of a python. Eating a little mouse wearing a sailor hat that says Snake Farm. Snake Farm, it just sounds nasty. Snake Farm, it pretty much is Snake Farm. It's a reptile house, Snake Farm. Ramona, how come she works there? She says, well, it's got its charm. There's nothing to do in the winter now than some kid gets bit at the snake farm. Snake farm, it just sounds nasty. Snake farm, it pretty much is snake farm. It's a reptile house, snake farm. Yeah, I forgot to mention something. This is a sing-along. Really? It goes Snake Farm. It just sounds nasty. Snake Farm. Pretty much is Snake Farm. It's a reptile house. Snake Farm. <laughs> it ain't exactly Kumbaya, but being a music fog, it ought to be perfect. Help me now, be on TV. Said Snake Farm, just sound nasty. Snake Farm, pretty much is Snake Farm. It's a reptile house. Snake Farm. That's called the alarm. She said she cried when they broke up. She still plays the record that the snake farm. Snake farm, it just sounds nasty. Snake farm, pretty much is snake farm. It's a reptile house, snake farm. Sometimes Ramona calls me up and says, come on down here, it's getting warm. And she runs everybody off and we, you know, it's a snake farm. Snake farm, it just says that's it. Snake farm, it pretty much is snake farm. It's a reptile house, snake farm. Help me now. I said snake farm, just says that's it. Snake farm, it pretty much is snake farm. It's a reptile house, snake farm. Unlock my phone and watch the world die They cry into God while they run for their lives Blood in the streets, bombs in the sky Goodbye, I hope you had dreams come true I hope they see in their crosshairs what I see in you And I hope and I pray that's all I can do I don't understand who is good or bad They don't care as long as you got all your sense We need something fast, we need something bad More than guns and tanks, where is Superman? Oh, where is Superman? Oh, where is Superman? 
I turn on the news and watch the world fight. Thousands of men making widows of wives. I'll be home soon, walked off in the night. Goodbye. I will remember you. I know it should be shot in their men just like you, but I hope and I pray, cause that's all I can do. I don't understand who is good or bad. They don't care as long as you got all your sense. We need something fast, we need something bad. More than guns and tanks, where is Superman? Oh, where is Superman? Oh, where is Superman? Soon, you won't need a TV or an iPhone to see because you We'll look out the window and boom. I don't understand who is good or bad. They don't care as long as you got all your sense. We need something fast. We need something bad. More than guns and tanks. Where is Superman? Oh, where is Superman? Did you just turn that on? Yep. Oh. What's up? Welcome to Cluster App. I don't know how to do this. What? The show. I don't remember how to do it. Well, let's go back to bed then. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Oh, it was so hard to get up this morning. Yuck. 640. Yuck. I'm a, I like to sleep till 9 o'clock. That's when I like to sleep till. I like to sleep till 10.30. I like to sleep till 2. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the sleepy family. We'll catch up on this chat. I don't know. I got a bunch of subs here. I'm trying to just scroll. I think they were chatting. And then after dark, they, the chat stayed for like another hour. <laughs> was that the last show that was done? Yeah. Johnny Stinkfinger. Oh. 52 months. Thank you, Johnny Stinkfinger. Woo! Buzzy's Moist Red Rocket, 59 months. Are we hype training Woo! right now already? Are we? No, it says it's close. Hype training. Oh. Minute less. Sean Raz, 57 months. Woo! Thank you, Sean Raz. Speaking of Sean Raz, we have the Sean Raz Care of the Day Woo! coming up. Also, we sent a pretty cool, uh, what do they call it? Hovercraft racing. Yeah. It's like usually these new sports are stupid, but it's like, oh, this hovercraft racing was pretty cool. Were you watching it? I watched a few seconds of it, and I was like, oh, yeah, I want to play this. Chris Sean can't sleep past seven. Look. Some people are like that. Some people can't, they yeah. just can't sleep. They mm -hmm. get... Crystal, Crystal Gale, Gale, subscribe for 50 months. 10 o'clock. She's a 10 o'clocker. VW Rick says you can sleep when you're dead, but you can't enjoy it. Some people don't <laughs> enjoy sleeping. Huh? So for some people, sleeping is just a function of, of life, and oh. they don't they don't relish it and savor it like I we get, do. I get <laughs> how it could be annoying, but like Lauren's like a you know like a seven o'clocker, and like maybe an eight o'clocker, and she just doesn't even under comprehend the concept of sleeping till two. She's like, how could you do that? <laughs> like I haven't, I don't think I ever have you know being with her because you know she can go maybe till eight before she starts just. Ha you know, having a conversation with a sleeping person. <laughs> you know, full blown, just talking to me like I'm awake and listening. I'm just like, what? She like, can't tell the difference. She can't tell the difference between, between awake and sleeping traits. Unconscious traits and conscious traits. That's, That's pretty bad. Frightening. <laughs> Ooh, Snook Man's up at 5 a.m. No matter oh, what. No matter what. What are you? 85 years old. But some people, you know, and they like. Like, if I got up at 5 and I felt great, I guess I'd be fine. Yeah. But I feel like, I mean, I don't want to get up at 5. <laughs> I just like to sleep. Mm -hmm. It's like, 
I, I'll be I'll be mad when I have to get up at five because when oh I'm eighty God. when I'm eighty years old and I, I wake up at five and I can't go that, back to uh, sleep. Uh, <laughs> horrible. Boo! I'll stay up till three in the morning <laughs> just to be <laughs> so able like to pretend sleep. I'm sleeping late. <gasps> yeah. I mean, I can just I can <laughs> I cannot go to bed. I could stay up just all night watching TV, like when and you know Lauren passes out within mm-hmm. three minutes of turning the TV on. I can stay up all night, no problem. To, you know, when it comes around like four or five, I'm like, all right, you know, you got to go to bed. Yeah. yeah. Even if it's on the weekend, but oh, it ruins your day a little ruins bit. Ruins your day, man. I guess. I guess if you stay up all night watching TV, that's why you sleep so late. But anything yeah, past two is starting to to cut into your next day's pr- yeah productiveness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> most well, I- most people are. In the chat or get up early. Big kahuna, if the sun's up, it's time to get out of bed. Gong, oh 6 a.m. People can't even relate to us. They <laughs> hate us. It's like we're, we're like in a sleep cult. It's like <laughs> yeah. we, pre- we try to preach the gospel of sleep. And mm. You can't convert people, though. If they don't like to sleep, they don't like to sleep. And you can't, make, make, you can't make me not want to sleep. <laughs> I mean, we don't, I don't, we don't talk to too many people that are like, oh, I love to sleep. Donna, your mom and I used to sleep till we were till uh, one o'clock in the afternoon when we were yeah. like no kids. Sometimes on the weekend. I think even on the weekend. when we had, I remember waking up and eating wa- frozen waffles because <laughs> my parents were sleeping no one. <laughs> it's just. I don't know we, about that. But we had the ability to, you know, we definitely slept a lot. Mm-hmm. Well, I got <laughs> home last the night. The foundation of our relationship. <laughs> That's why we've been together so long. <laughs> Lauren was hyping up this down for love, you know, the special people, down syndrome people mm-hmm. dating. And she's like, oh, let's go home and do this and do this and then watch that and fall asleep. I mean, she didn't even make it home anywhere close to home. Like, I mean, <laughs> she fell asleep on the way home. But, you know, it still was in my head. So I put it on and I was like, these people are too special to be dating and stuff. But uh-huh. and then after a couple minutes, I was like. I think me and Lauren have Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, these people are just like, and like I love you, you uh, cool <laughs> I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I have Case Down come to the realization. Uh, I realized been I had it the Downs. <laughs> didn't want, nobody wanted to tell you. Her side didn't want to tell her. <laughs> we just let you live your life. Never told you. <laughs> I don't think it matters once you got it. <laughs> Uh, mm. Did you tell her yet? Have you broken the news to her? <laughs> no, nah, I'm, I'm gonna rewatch the whole thing with her. To, <laughs> I'm like, look at this. We got down. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this remind you of, babe? <laughs> babe. And me, I love you. <laughs> no wonder Harper and Bella seem so much smarter than them. <laughs> <laughs> they are. <laughs> uh, what was the name of it? What was it called? Down for love. We that's we you know how do you determine like you know what degree of down you know aren't there different degrees you know there you must s- be you know so what if you know how can a girl consent if she's a little less downs and uh, no, yeah, she's a little I, more downs than I you think it, it's I mean, filmed uh, in like oh <laughs> I forget where but a different country uh-huh. yeah you the know where there's no rules <laughs> yeah. where there's yeah. no rules. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the whole show, they take everything very serious. And it's so obviously making fun of these people, but they take it, you know, they're like, and now they're going to go do pottery on a spinning wheel. And they're going, <laughs> you know, it's just, and they, you know, everything sounds so professional. And they're like, and they picked up on it real quick. And that shows them dancing. They're like, you know, like it, do they live on their own? No, none of these people really. No. Uh, we know. watched a different one with just people with autism, and they, you know, a couple of them would live on their own, but mainly. That would suck to have someone with like Downs, and you're trying to, because you know, a lot of people don't try to teach them. You know, they just live with them. It's hard enough just to live with them, let alone dedicate your whole life to teaching them how to take care of themselves. Because all you could probably think of is when I die. What is going to happen yeah. to my child? Uh, you know, yeah. what, where are they going to put him? And what, you know, that's horrible to think of, you know, have to think of that. But a lot of people, it's probably just all they can do to get through, you know, just raising them themselves. 
<coughs> so what do they do with them? That's why I wondered. They all live like with their parents still. The ones yeah. you watch. I mean, it, it was great. I, like I watched the, watched the first ten minutes, and I wasn't too into it until they asked like the one kid, like, "Do you ever want to move out?" He's like, "Yeah." And like, how much do you think you'll have to save up to move out of your parents' house? He's like, probably nine million dollars. I was like, he's That's right. What Trace, yeah. <laughs> That's what Trace would have said. <laughs> but in this day and age, you know, there are you know, aren't there people down center who who live on their own? I think so. But how do they not get just bamboozled every and, day and just, just some um, con person going there's a I mean how many scam no. calls you get a day? Yeah. So if you're a Down syndrome person living alone, <laughs> you're getting. How are you not falling for one of the twenty-five scam calls you got? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, that's rough. It's, you gotta. It's a dirty game nowadays. Just not get him a phone. <laughs> and you know, still can't get over that nine dollar and twenty-five cent. I can't get over that old situation. <laughs> Beer I had last night. <laughs> nine dollars and twenty-five cent for a blue moon, and I'm yeah. like. What? That's the principle. It's like, I can't drink a $9. I feel like I should be at some kind of hoity-toity tuxedo restaurant for my $9.25 I just beer. balled out. I ordered a $9 beer and <laughs> just threw it on the floor and <laughs> smashed it. Well, am I at the airport? Why am I paying $9.25 for a beer? Yeah, because that's a, what you get these am days. I, am I at an amusement park? You know? Right? I'm a, that's I'm what a it would seem like. I just bought a concert beer at, at BJ's. Nine dollars and twenty five cents. Yeah. Gosh, I, I I mean, is everybody doing this? I mean, I heard a lot of talk of it when me and Lauren went out to eat, you know, for Mother's Day or whatever. There was a lot of people just like, you know, with that inflation, <laughs> yeah, you know, so people yeah. are re- starting to get it a little bit, uh, I think, you know. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like in that vein. Uh, Donna's going to be upset about this. I know, you know, she's a big fan of the Ultimate Feast mm. at Red Lobster. Well, Red Lobster is going bankrupt. Is it? Yeah. Before I could get back to get the Ultimate yeah, Feast, they closed fifty ra- uh, restaurants up north. You better go back. So you better I haven't get been your, there for years. I don't know if you want to get your get the Ultimate Feast at a restaurant that's got that's bankruptcy <laughs> hovering <laughs> over its head, yeah. and it's cutting corners. And, yeah, mm. just remember the glory days. Yeah. With the, with the cheese biscuits. You could probably still get some cheap, good cheese biscuits there. Yeah, yeah, I think it's all the stores that used to st- sell, like, cheap stuff. You know, like, Beef and Brady's was kind of a cheap place. And Red Lobster was, like, known for, like, being real. You know, for seafood, it was real cheap. Yeah. You know? And I think they just, you know... For what they're putting out for cheap now, the price of it they can't sell it for you know twenty dollars yeah. like they used to, yeah. and they gotta sell it for forty and it's half-assed fucking seafood. <laughs> and people are like, oh, I'm well, no, not gonna. the ultimate feast was pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> the last time I had it, I was like, this is. It Back wasn't that. It wasn't that <laughs> ultimate, oh, you know. Okay. I was getting, like a year ago or two. Well, not so I ultimate. Mean, it, yeah, it's usually hard to mess up like you know shrimp and lobster. And it usually tastes pretty good. Yeah, it does. I'll get one right now. <laughs> Let's go get the Let's ultimate. Let's go get feast. the ultimate feast <laughs> okay. and some cheese biscuits right now. I can't even mm. remember the last time we were. Mm-mm. It was a few years ago we went to the one out here. Yeah. I can't even remember if it, w- w- it was any good or not. No, we had a bad experience. I thought we did. It was. Uh, I was just like, man, <laughs> that was disappointing. I, it I, just I, always seems so greasy. The the <laughs> floor. The God, tape, move everything. the floor, the s'more. <laughs> like, just eat the crabs. We and tried. Contribute we to that floor. We got bad service, and then the like. They whoever was cooking overcooked everything. You know, it's not great when you get it overcooked. Yeah. You know? Seafood overcooked is not so great. The old beef of Brady's, where Trace used to work, uh, just uh, shut down too. And it's like that one used to get jam packed. So you, you know, you'd go be waiting for a table on the weekend when football and stuff was playing. Yeah. And uh, did yeah, so and back then, back then, just think back then, Trace was management material at this beef of Brady's. Oh yeah, <laughs> didn't weren't you the manager at one point or assistant manager? No, I was just a kitchen manager oh, and assistant manager at one point. Assistant manager, you could have worked yourself way up the beef of Brady's chain. And right now, you'd be out of a job. <laughs> yeah, you'd be out of a job <laughs> now. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Although you could have went somewhere else. Yeah, nine dollars for. 
Blue Moon. I mean, it's not. And I think the uh, the other beers, like you know, so I switched immediately to uh, Coors Light, which was like seven bucks. It's like seven bucks is still a, bit I, steeper, like a, a domestic just order beer. whatever, man. Like, who cares if it's seven dollars? What do you mean? Seven nine. What's the fucking <laughs> yeah, difference? Yeah, I mean, it, you know? it's too much. <laughs> seven dollars is too much for a beer at a restaurant. It's the regular old yeah. restaurant. BJ, nothing special about it at all. Nothing special about BJ's. <laughs> I mean, I'm that place, that, that, yeah, I don't, I, fuck that place. I ain't like, going there I right didn't now. say it while I was there, <laughs> and I'm going to be a Debbie Downer and like ruin anybody's time, but <laughs> fuck that place. That place blew. We were there for like six <laughs> hours. I don't know. How long were we there? Like all day? No. We got we there, there, and it was a fucking hour wait. It was like three and a half hours, maybe? There's fucking or? nobody in that restaurant, and it's an hour and a half wait. Yeah. It's just like, fuck. That's pretty. That shows the management how stupid they are. <laughs> it's like you got hardly anyone here. There's nobody out here waiting, that's for sure. But, well, we only have two tables that hold large parties, but they could have put tables together at any time. They had that whole room that had nobody in it, and it took them an hour to decide to put a few tables together and put us in there. It's Some like, people can't critically you think. You are so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you got a party here that we almost left and went to Carabas, you know, and it was like, why wouldn't you just say, oh, yeah, we'll get a tape, some tables together immediately for you. So stupid. So stupid. So stupid. Yeah, I, I don't think not. they're going to do that anymore. No. It's like, that's a waste of money, man. It's yeah, so, I mean, it's it was so a real over, waste overpriced. of money. Oh, so mm, overpriced. So overpriced. And I could tell they cut back on the portion. So now yeah. they overprice you and cut back. It's like it's one thing if you're going to overprice and still get the same, mm-hmm. you know, which yours is was fine. Pre- I mean, yours was pretty small. I, yeah, it was pretty small. But, I, you know, I was full. I'm fine with the portion. But but I'm just saying they do cut back. You know, that's shitty to cut to raise the price and Not, cut back on the portions. I thought. Mine was like just marginal. I was like, yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Really got this like shrimp. Good? It was just uh, shrimp a floating in butter. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty damn good. I had that as a soup this morning. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I just uh, added a little seasoning and water to it and made it into a soup and just drinking it. I was drinking oh. s- shrimp butter it's on the called, way here. It's called gout soup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Trace, that's but, the worst that thing you soup. eat is shrimp that makes you get and, gout. And butter. Oh, it was delicious. <sighs> it's just a gout shot. Trace, get, get a shot. <laughs> Shot, shot, shot. <laughs> Sounds delicious, though. Nah, but that place... <laughs> I got barbecued up this weekend, bro. I'm, I need to start sending shit back. Like, I'm just, I no, tried no, to no, tell you. I, I, up. I, I, got, I got chicken wings at this... You know, I took Lauren out for Mother's Day. And, you know, I was just like... I'm not even gonna... You know, usually I just stare at the menu and bitch about how expensive everything is. Until Lauren has had it, you know, she's like, that's just what fucking shit costs nowadays. Well, I was like, all right, I'm not even gonna, not even gonna care about the money. It's Mother's Day, whatever, fuck it. And, but I ordered, you know, twelve wings. I usually order six because they're so expensive. And I ordered them hot, and they come out fucking barbecue, bro. And I'm <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. And I, you know, I had one. And I was like, "Ooh, barbecue's kind of good." And then after like three, I was like, it's "Too much." I should have just fucking sent it back because I don't like these, you know. And I'm paying so much for it, especially when you, especially yeah, when you wait for you know, wait to get some good wings, you don't get the right sauce. It's a could ruin your wing experience, which it did. Yeah. And, and then. And then yesterday <laughs> I ordered a steak and it's a barbecue covered in barbecue sauce or whatever, and I was like, I don't want the, you know, I don't want it covered in barbecue sauce, and he comes yeah. out. <laughs> and it's covered in barbecue sauce And I was just like fuck And he's like oh fuck They put the barbecue sauce on there I was like yeah He's like damn <laughs> He said you want me to have you remake it yeah, right. yeah, We Laura, were there that was, We had like, been no. there for three hours yeah. at this point I was like I'm just fucking eat the Because the entrees took a long ass time to get there They did Continuing with our review of BJ's brew house <laughs> Suck it They can <laughs> suck it <laughs> We got. Mm. I've been there before and gotten, they have this uh, appetizer, what's it called? Um, the, something Brussels sprouts. Yeah, they um, got some kind of, it's like it's kind of like bang bang shrimp of Brussels, you know, they got this tangy sauce on them. And yeah. it was really good. I've had it a couple times. And this, and it, it, was, it was good it was because. It was all dry. Be- before it was more of like 
smaller pieces and a lot of the skin peeled off. Yeah. So it was deliciously crispy your skin. Now they just lopped them in half and put them in there and it was like too much Brussels sprout with not enough <laughs> yeah. sauce. And they can suck it. Suck it, BJ's brew. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've, they were nice. <laughs> I'm, I, I mean, I, I didn't think it was great service. When I went back and did the math, I was like, I think I le- didn't leave enough tip. Yeah. I don't know. I left 80 bucks. It was 12 of us. <laughs> I kept trying to get know. you to make well, sure the, you mean, figured it they, out. I right, was trying but, to figure it out. Well, they added a gratuity. Yeah. But then they gave me, you can't put gratuity. Well, you, we They gave us a $200 gift card. Yeah. You know, and I paid. And this was what pissed me off. Like, they gave me two different checks. One was with the gift <laughs> card with some crossed out shit. And, you know, I was like, I'm too, this is too confusing. They scammed him out of hundreds of dollars. Maybe. <laughs> and I tried to give it to everybody. Everybody was like kind of making fun of me. And I'm like, fuck you, look at this, figure this out. And they're like, oh, I don't get it either. <laughs> and then, you know, I took it up to the front desk uh, and I was like, can you explain this to me? He was like, no. <laughs> the, I mean, that, the guy was like, no, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, what can, what can you, he was like, I'll go get the manager. And, you know, he went and got that guy and the guy came back, the, our guy that wrote the thing. And he's like, yeah, I'm pretty confused about this. <laughs> shit. I'm like, what What do you mean you're confused about this, too? Uh-huh. <laughs> but how'd you figure it out? I don't know. I think that's why I ended up just leaving him 80 bucks accidentally. But <laughs> but that I was 20. That was 20. 80 bucks was 20 percent. OK, plus the 18 uh, percent. No. So he didn't get the eighteen percent. But it was it 18, was added. Yeah. So he got that right. Yes. Plus of 80 half bucks. of it without the gift cards. That, yeah. I don't know what he's saying. I don't know. It but was he, it was fucking confusing as shit. <laughs> but he got the eighteen percent plus your tip, so he he made a killing. Yeah. So, you know, which is fine. Snookman says in five years you're not going to be able to move Trace. Permanent gout, joint damage. Oh, he's bedridden. Stop. Bedridden gout you boy. Been gout in months. Just should, waiting. You it's should just aim for waiting. years. <laughs> just waiting to pounce on your buddy. What's up, yeah. BBBZB? When's that? Uh, how long do I have to work here before I get insurance? Health insurance? Ten years. <laughs> Five more to go. Coming up. Five more to go, buddy. <laughs> I, think it, I think I've worked here for ten years. <laughs> It'll be perfect timing. <laughs> when you're 30. Okay, Five years should be, what, 38? Yeah, wow. your body will start breaking down even more. You got the bad genes. Yeah, Lauren wanted to go to Bush Gardens. Just mentioned it at one point the other day, and I was like, "Yeah, you know." I was like, "My knee feels, you know, good enough to walk around Bush Gardens." And then we went out to eat instead, and we parked like a quarter mile away, and I barely made it to the fucking restaurant. Like, I'm so glad we didn't go to fucking Bush Gardens. Yeah, that's about the <laughs> stupidest thing I've ever heard. Is mm-hmm. go. Let's go walk but, all day. All day on concrete. Mm-hmm. Let's go walk all day on concrete mm-hmm. and not stop. <laughs> I wouldn't have made it. Yeah. Don't you do that yet. I keep g- telling both of you, don't start doing shit before you're completely healed. I'm done. It's done. So, like, I, this is how I live now. Like, that's how I'm treating my knee. <laughs> I just can't walk anymore. <laughs> <Do some laughs> and you got to deal with it. That's do some, life. Uh, Rehab on it. I told him what you got to do <laughs> is go to a uh, what do they call it? physical therapy place yeah. one time and you pay the cash, whatever it is. It's just one. Probably nowadays it's probably 200 bucks. It used to be like 50 bucks, yeah. 75 bucks. And they they probably could figure out what it's wrong because they see these knees all the time. Yeah. So, you know, might be able to go, oh, yeah, you get a bad ACL. And, he'll, and say, what can I do to strengthen it and make it as best it can be? And they'll give you a, wor- you know, they'll run through the workout program with you once. And then you go home and you do it. Mm-hmm. So that's uh, probably what I need to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take your own advice. Our buddy. doctor, my doctor visits used to be $80. It yeah. used to, that's what they charge for the office visit. Now it's 167 Isn't that crazy? 167 Double. Double. For an Double. Office, but what for is it? 2% office inflation? Visit. They say two yeah, percent inflation. No, two point something. When mm-hmm. everything doubled, that's not two percent inflation. Don't let them fucking bamboozle you with those fake fucking so numbers. 
And now, I, you know, I every even, number they ever say is a lie. See, I don't even know, but okay, so two, they say it's 2% inflation. Does that mean that every month when they come out with the, what the inflation was for that month, is it like 2%? 2%? Per month? 2%? 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%. So is that, and we're in the, like the second year of that, so inflation is like 26%? Is that what it is? <laughs> Maybe that's it. You know, and that's how they d- get away with. <laughs> and nobody do, says do that. that. They all act like it's you know it's just two percent. Be- you know, because they brainwash everybody into thinking that it's just two percent. Is that two percent yearly? They or don't is it tell 2% you two percent more. I don't know, because it sure don't. It sure ain't two percent. No, unless it's figured differently. What is like if you're <laughs> like I said, the doctor visit went from like eighty bucks to one hundred and sixty-seven. Yes. Is that 100% inflation? 100% inflation, yeah. babe. Okay. <laughs> 100% inflation. Yeah. I don't guess they don't figure that in. Like they don't figure in gas and other stuff. It's a big I, scam. It's a big scam. Gas is definitely what? 100% inflation. I know. But that, <laughs> yeah, they don't, there's a lot of, it's, you know, it's a connived government number to fool you. Mm-hmm. Now, I can't believe we haven't had a hype train yet with all the money that all of our listeners have made off of listening to my. Pepe the Frog advice. Oh, oh. Well, I mean, we can have a big <laughs> Pepe the Frog p- party when, when, it, when it really hits big. I mean, we it can it, all mark out to Trace. You know, I mean, I, I kind of cashed out of it a little bit because I was, you know, a couple weeks ago, I was, you know, didn't have too much money and I had made a thousand percent, you know, profit off of it. Mm-hmm. So I cashed out a little bit, but it's still going way up. So. Pepe the Frog. Well, you know, back in the day, it was, you know, drop the tray on the old show. Yeah. And you get 100 shares of the. So maybe we need to do some kind of Peppy the Frog tie in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least if you drop 100 bucks on us, you get your name on the wall for a long time. You oh, get man. something. You That's gotta, better than the I, uh, Radio IO stock. <laughs> worthless. That was worthless. Absolutely worthless. That's the biggest roof. That's the biggest roof. They probably just, they probably just laughing at us. When they they could probably barely keep a straight face and went here's your here's your million shares <laughs> I go stop that we're gonna do nothing you with can't, this and you can't sell until the, this is just we a are, shell company yeah pump and dump see that's how you know see like eventually he he'd be you know, doing Paul yeah like it was a pump and dump that's what lawyers do yeah. they say the truth well he and says that it. about everything he lies about if he if he's acute you know if you say he you know trolls us or oh oh cause he come on i have i don't got no time to do that he's that's how he that's how he acts about like, like i would like, do yeah, that it's ridiculous, ridiculous when he completely does that. i can't oh, i did my first trolling experience this weekend <laughs> or on monday i think you know <laughs> since we didn't work yeah and i woke up kind of early and I just saw it was on. I clicked on it and I made a. I yeah. I think I subscribed, you know, for a dollar or something, just so I could comment. <laughs> and I was just, you know, all I said was, I was just curious because I, you know, me and Lauren had went and hung out with some friends. You don't say nothing about our, us or our yes. Show. <laughs> what? Oh, I don't know. Let's see what you said. <laughs> no, no, nothing. I was just like, you know. I was pissed because, you know, I talked to these people and they're like, oh, do you have, you know, Lauren will be like, oh, and he did this song and that song. And then they're like, can you show me? And I'm like, no, because everything I've ever (laughs) done is delete. I'm the only person (laughs) that ever worked for that guy that everything I've ever done is deleted. Like your shit's still on there. 25 (laughs) Spice Boy. Everybody's stuff is. But he, you know, made somebody go through everything they ever did (laughs) and make sure they erased everything. Every <laughs> single video yeah. or cl- sound clip that involved me. Some intern was on trace duty for a week, watch, <laughs> watching videos and deleting. You know, and I was just like, how what, come? What do you suppose the reason for that is? I, that's what, what I was like. Can I ask a question? Hey, what it's Trace. Can I ask thing a question? In his brain may, is, yeah. Well, he really thinks that he really got us. He, was he really got Trace. He, yeah. Trace is mad. <laughs> <laughs> you win, Tubby. You made Trace mad. Sean says he was worried you were going to sue him. Probably. That's what it is. That's probably what it I'm was. I'm just going to yeah. do it. I call him Farrah and Farrah. <laughs> I'm calling him today. Not yeah, to tell, him, tell him everything. And, you know, we have the timeline and everything, how long it's been. And, you know, 
So you may get a knock on your door within half an hour, and both Farrah brothers are sitting there going, uh, we uh, can't wait what, to talk to you. Yeah, I mean, I don't have any, you know, they deleted all the videos, but it was live on there. I can get like 3,000 witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I was. Elab says he really hated you. You must have done something right to get under his skin. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, or somebody told him something. I don't know. Yeah. He's such a weirdo. I got lucky. I'm with sure how... somebody on you know he's got these little tattletales that watch that probably watch our show religiously. Think I'm gonna go back and tell. I mean, one thanks, thing, for, the, thanks for the views, by the way. We appreciate, one thing we he could views. not stand so he, was Lauren. Lauren drove him fucking insane. He would always like, well, she's too hot. <laughs> I need a girl that's hot like that. <laughs> it's like, He's mad that you were in a, a successful relationship with yeah, a, a, a decent woman. Yeah, you know, I got lucky Lauren and Paul, like one of our first times we met was going to Char- South Carolina, oh Charleston. God. And, you know, she always tells me, you know, I didn't play into it, but he came up to me and he was like, so, so on the way there and on the way back, you're just you're gonna pretend to not like Trace. You're gonna pretend to be into me, and you're. you're oh my god! I, she said he he said that, and he's she didn't do it, but he's like, and you're just gonna ignore Trace the whole time and act like I'm your I'm your boyfriend. Really? Yeah. Oh, so she wouldn't play along with his work, so he, you know he don't like that either. Yeah, he don't like that. No. And when the first time she came on, the only thing I asked of him was like, oh, <laughs> you know. Her, you know, with her ex, some shit went down that I didn't want to talk about. I was like, whatever you do, just don't bring that up. That's it's like the, the stupidest only, thing you could ever the say. The only thing I ever, like, asked him to do. And, so, Lauren, how's your ex? I mean, that was the first thing that came out of his mouth when she, the first time she had ever been on the radio. The only thing uh, I asked him not to ask about, he was like, so, so, what happened in rap? I was like, what the fuck, bro? That guy sucked ass. You should know better. <laughs> Of course, that's the first the first thing going to be out of his mouth. Yeah, if you didn't play along with his <laughs> stuff, you know, he didn't like it. Just like you know, he tried to have Aaron on the show. Yeah, and some people can't, you know, take people being mean to him. You know, she didn't like it, and here it was, you know, him trolling her, calling, saying bad shit about her, calling her names. You know, what on the um on the, on ch- the in chat. the chat? Probably, yeah, you know, <laughs> he trolled his own show. Yeah. He's trolling her and saying shit about her, and she was just like, "I don't yeah, want to do see, that. I don't want to be." I on mean, I was show. like, you know, I think people are like, sometimes you hear people, "Oh, you Manson trying to get uh, you know, his kid in and Aaron in." It's like, I Bubba came came every mm-hmm. time. Bubba's like, "Hey, can you know? Can we put Trace? tried to take can anybody we, from our show? <laughs> huh? He tried to take anyone from Cluster F to, to be on his show. So he because he thought they were good. Yeah, he'd say, you know, I want Trace on the show, or he was like, we should try Aaron in the studio once a week. And I'm like, sure, if you, yeah. you know. And, but then, like with Trace, it worked out. With Aaron, though, he, you know, he just didn't like her being in there. Yeah, that way you I. Know, and he, so he didn't even involve. She wasn't involved at all. She just no. sat. That she would sit there for four hours, doing nothing. Feeling, As he trolled her, you know, and it's like. You know, it, it, you know the, the person goes however he wants that person to go. Yeah. You know, he could freeze you out. And, and mm-hmm. But, I mean, just the honesty and just, like, not just going to you and saying, or Aaron and saying, you know, eh, I don't think it's really going to work out. He'd rather just keep her there for an extra year and not talk to her or involve her and just <laughs> then have to be like... Say mean things to her Yeah, to, I'm going to oh, just he, be a dick till she quits. Yeah. <laughs> he, thrives on, he thrives on that, yeah, I think. Yeah, that that's the gets whole, him off. It's, like it, it's so pa- such a powerful urge that it you know, just keeps destroying his career. Yeah. <laughs> but I just asked that in the chat and nobody said anything about it. About what, like, what was it? About what? I just I was like, why, why after all these people fucked your room, am I the only uh, one, you know, uh, who you you deleted everything? <laughs> and no response or nothing. And then I was just like, not a lot of, because I had to listen to 10 minutes before <laughs> I could chat. Yeah. You know, uh, since the yeah. most I've listened since I've quit, you know, <laughs> I listened for 10 minutes. And then I was just like, you know, I was like, man, like nobody's, it's, you know, it's a different, it's not a funny show anymore you know they're not trying to make la- make you laugh you know you- it's just yeah. all about who's i'm great you're great <laughs> they're great brainwashing cult did they, now did they um they didn't ban you no i don't know <laughs> but they were, we, we were talking last night also trace 
And you made a great point. You're like you're you're listening. You were waiting for uh, pops. Yeah. Into the break, because that's what it used to be. We'd have a big. There'd be a big laugh. You know, some of would have a big one liner. We'd all laugh. And he'd go, bam, you know, right into the break, you know, with the pew, 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 pew. Yeah. And, it was, you know, he was really good at that. Yeah, and for sure. Really, I mean, he would, like, every... It was like an art, you know? And it was always a pop into the break, and I was like, you know, the trademark was, you know, you're always going to get a big pop, and then, go, you know, and he was, he would just wait to be, you know, wait, he was ready to go on break, but he'd be wait for a pop. Yeah. He was just waiting for a pop. <laughs> and now... You said, you know, there's just no, there's no, there's there was no, just pops. no, no, even a, there was a no a, a attempted pops. There was no attempt to make a joke. We'll be right back. <laughs> See, I mean, I, we could do that, but that would require me to be <laughs> skilled and, and it just wouldn't happen. See, I could ask, I maybe see, maybe I could see, I got, we probably need to get some more of these. <clears throat> I got some of these so I could have it ready. All right, here we go. So, so Trace, you know, Trace yeah. and I, then we go, ah, <laughs> Bluster F will be right back. Please enjoy a tasty selection from the world's greatest parody artist, slash voiceover guy, slash raconteur, slash it's not about me. Cluster F will be right back. What, where are those? Why don't we play those more? A lot of work trying to get on, go, <laughs> go from here to get something else and there and... Yeah. I need to, I need some new ones too, yeah. We got to get that computer fixed in there. We got to put the, get that well, set up. Well, now that Mother's Day is over, yes. we can get our Christmas tree. Thank down. God! Thank God! Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> it's a quarter of the way down. You took the top off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's less or more yeah. trashy. Do you know what the problem is? <laughs> I'll tell you what the problem is. What that room back there? That's the problem because everybody destroyed it at Halloween. And it's just like, I just can't find, I'm just like, ugh, okay. I had to go put all that stuff away. There's too and much. And it's just it's an we're, whole extra mess. We're Halloween hoarders, and we have <laughs> b uh, garbage can-sized containers of costumes and costumes hung up and masks and hats and all these costumes from years and years and years of Halloween party. And we need to get rid well, of something. It just need to accept it. Y'all stop being bitches. You guys, uh, just accept what? the fact that you guys have your Christmas tree up for seven months after. Don't blame it on well, it. Well, because it has <laughs> to go blame, don't in put the back blame. of that closet. And I can't even hardly get in that room. <laughs> well, I didn't Don't put that blame on anybody else. Everybody else comes here for Halloween and goes, oh, I need a costume now. And they just start going through boxes and stuff and going like this with everything and it's like come on i don't want to do that that's like a <laughs> that's an all-day project it sorting is. that shit out and i gotta get the tree into the room oh, into the back of that closet tree barely i can't fits even get in, in the, the room. damn closet it's a pain in the ass <laughs> <laughs> well then just leave can it decorate just, it with something else and just say it's a tree can, decoration can we just do know. the charlie brown tree from now on <laughs> and then we can just chuck it out the back window <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, at this point, you, should, you shouldn't put another one, take it down now, right? It's too close to <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> I swear Christmas is only like like five months, four no. or five months away. If I had a fake tree, <laughs> I might be... Oh, what? Seven no, months away. If June, July, August, September, October, November, that's six months, because you put your oh, Christmas okay. tree up December 1st. <laughs> six months, we got it, we, we've passed, we've made it. Now we can leave it up. <laughs> Oh God! Uh, I mean, I'd probably do the same if I had a fake tree, but we got a real tree, and oh, like can't do it with a after real like tree. a month, a I'm just tree. like my house is going to burn down. Like yeah. I was, yeah. I was almost like just like uh, might as well burn my house down now because this fucking tree is so old and dry. <laughs> I'm gonna burn my house. <laughs> Why'd get, you burn your house down? Trey? Just to get because it over because I just with. knew that tree was gonna do it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Just begging to burn my house down. I mean that, you know, Lauren sent, it would set. She, you know, one of those incense thing. It's just like a light. Yep. With a that heats up a little plate <laughs> yeah. all the time, yeah. and she always set that by the tree. I'm like, oh, oh God. it's gonna burn down for sure. Like, I don't know if it gets hot enough, but I don't think it has to get that hot to burn this <laughs> thing down. Yeah. Those needles are just itching it just, to burn. They want to burn. <laughs> they, like, they I can want feel it in my soul. Yeah, probably don't spontaneously combust. <laughs> yeah. 
You should take, I mean, if you're an arsonist, forget the gasoline. Just take a Christmas, <laughs> so Christmas, yeah. throw a Christmas tree in somebody's just house. Light, all you have to do is light the tip of it and throw it in the like house. A flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for sure. I think this was the first year we didn't burn any trees. Mm. We didn't have any trees to burn, did we? I don't know why we didn't burn trees. Weston used to go pick them up. Did we have? We didn't have. Did we have a bonfire this year? Yeah. Didn't we? Yeah. Why didn't we just no didn't trees. have the trees? Yeah. We didn't have a real tree. Didn't. Yeah. Well, we used to. Um, Weston used to get like seven or eight of them. Mm-hmm. He'd st- st- steal them from the Christmas tree dump. <laughs> I wonder if that's a that's a misdemeanor. Is that stealing? I don't. It, I mean, no. technically, absolutely not. But you never know with the government. <laughs> Why at the dump, you know, you go to the dump. I made a trip there the other day, and it says absolutely no salvaging. Why can't you take stuff from the dump that, you know, and I'm just going to take it home. You got to pay to leave some stuff there. I'm just going to take it home and bring it back six months later and have to pay again. You're doubling your money, you know. <laughs> it's because if you work they don't at want the- a bunch of people up there. Going that, through their crap and then getting hurt, and that's the alleged reason. The reason is if you work at the dump, you work at the dump. So one of the few perks of your jobs is sometimes people throw away cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Now you got scroungers like you <laughs> stealing your cool, and you're making twelve bucks an hour at the dump. And you're pissed <laughs> off. Don't take that. That was, that was my old stereo system. I mean, somebody just threw out. There's so much. I mean, if I worked at the goddamn dump, oh you wouldn't be God. able to make it through the door of my house. Like, oh, I, like Char- I can't think of Charlie and the. You know, every time I go by at the dump and they got the wood. Him and, and Grandma would be over there. They got the wood <laughs> and the garbage and the metal pile, and then they got like the. I don't know the really cool <laughs> shit pile, like, and I'm just like, oh, I want all that stuff, like. I would come home with something every day if I were. I'm sure if you backed right up to it and were like throwing stuff in, you could just throw something in there. And um, they ain't. Oh yeah, I ain't keeping that. that I ain't keeping that much of an eye on it. No. I mean, we got the opposite. We look at stuff and go, man, that thing's almost ready for the dump. Let's <laughs> yeah. take it to the dump. Get rid of it. <laughs> Make free up some space. I mean, if you work at the dump, it. I mean, you get to keep that stuff. Like, are you like? Is your whole family like, oh, I don't have to buy TVs any anymore. Billy works at the, <laughs> at dump, the dump. Of the dump, yeah. you know. <laughs> I mean, I would think you would get plenty of TVs. People will throw away a old, you know, TV that's now worth, you know, fifty bucks. Yeah, nobody's selling plus, their old TV. You know, <laughs> plus, you know. when you go, you know, some people when you go buy the guy that you're that tells you where to put your stuff, you're probably like, this TV in here works great. If yeah, anybody wants I it, I guarantee they probably you. tell you. get a lot of that, and they be like, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Man, I got that. I got my TV now. Our TV went out, and we were uh, going to watch, you know, some movies that night or whatever, and I was like, I got this, you know, and I just, it was like 10 o'clock, and I went on Facebook Marketplace, and there's somebody, you know, a mile down the road selling one for 20 bucks, and I got it. You know, and I was like, you know, this will just be, you know, till we get another TV, because it's a little bit small. Yeah. yeah. I haven't even fucking noticed. It's been six months. I haven't even noticed that it was small, you yeah. know? You don't really notice once you, once you start watching. Yeah. Yeah, we used to watch um, at our lunch breaks. We used to watch on a little portable TV that was this big. It's like, once you're watching it, you don't even notice. Man, how pathetic were, were, were you and I, babe? Pathetic. Sitting in the parking lot with a little TV watching soap operas. Oh, that's pathetic, I guess you're right. (laughs) Pathetic. Well, we'd be sitting in, you know, I used to clean new construction. Soaps. (laughs) Watching soaps. You know, it'd be carpeted and everything. We'd sit in there and have lunch and watch our soap (laughs) opera. It's a good gig. It's a good gig. That's when you could just plug a TV in. And you got channels. <laughs> that wasn't too long ago. That was like that. We that was Donna and I were, you know, very low level commercial cleaners back in the day, and you know she would get like a gig like cleaning some model homes, and that was the gigs to get. Yeah. Because yeah. you you know nothing happens in a model home. You go in and you dust and and you vacuum, and then you go hit the beach. You know, with a Mountain Dew and some nachos nice. and some Doritos. Mm-hmm. It was like we had that was our dream job. <laughs> Over in Apollo Beach. I mean, we were making nothing. We made no, I mean, it was, you know, it was enough to, to live on. Back then, see, they didn't make dick for doing that. 
Yeah. You know, I mean, it was enough to survive on, but you could survive pretty good. Yeah. I guess our expect our expectations of mount, like of 30, mount, 40, like 40 bucks a model home. Yeah. We do three or four like in a day. Mm -hmm. But that was like, you know, for the week, you know, I don't think we I don't think we were making. You know, we weren't we weren't killing it with a model home cleaning. Mm, we were doing all right. <laughs> 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 She's been stashing money away. She yeah. was lying to me the whole time. <laughs> we, were we were balling doing that. Now, that like cleaning. I said, you know, I used to have that handheld little antenna TV, and I'd stay up late on my two and a quarter inch TV watching the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. <laughs> 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 no wonder I could never get him up for school. Yeah, the <laughs> night owl even back then. Yeah, and then, and then Blind Date would come on after that, and that sucked. You know, usually I'd be like, all right. And every once in a while, I'd catch myself watching the Blind Date. <laughs> I think at like I mean, 2 o'clock, Craig Ferguson ended. Used to, I mean, there used to be the stations would, would sign off at like midnight. Man. You know, then it'd be a test pattern. Boo. I don't think that's a thing at all anymore. Everybody's no, just, I, I guess, because so. they can automate it now. Someone asked if you got something for Lauren. If they, you got something they sent for Lauren. Who was that in the chat? I forgot. I meant to read that to Trace. You talking to me? No. <laughs> Trace, something for her birthday. I don't know if they sent her a, Sean, I think it was Sean. He sent her a link or something. Oh, for a cruise or something. <laughs> Okay, oh, so Trace, you got you. Uh, Trace, oh, I yeah. think uh, coming back, or maybe coming back, we'll do the cruise story. Yeah, that was a good or one. Should we do the cruise story now? Uh, I guess coming back. Well, we got Thank we you. got a few minutes, but we don't. Yeah, let's wait for this. Let's do, let's do the hovercraft. We'll watch the ra hovercraft races, and we'll talk about uh We'll have Trace's cruise story coming up. And go on one, of course. What'd you say? I didn't go on one, of course, but no, it's just a, a related cruise story. It's hearsay. All right, here's here's hovercraft racing. This looks this actually looks pretty cool. Jeez. Professional hovercrafter. Oh, of course. Okay. This looks amazing. Okay. They have no brakes. <laughs> no brakes. Of course, jet skis don't yeah, either. No. Yeah. That looks kind of badass. A little bit. I hate airboats. Hovercrafts are okay, but airboats. Um. Get me, man. Like, I just... Lauren's always like, oh, that's a cool airboat. I'm like, no, it's not. Like, to go, like... Airboats. I don't get them. You just you hear them from, like, a mile away, and you gotta sit there with, you know, your headphones, headphones on, because it's so fucking loud. And, you know, they'll gas it up to just to go 10 miles an hour. So, <laughs> you know, I just feel... It's like, I feel like... I always... When I see an airboat in somebody's yard or in their driveway, I'm like... Do they really use that thing? <laughs> Who wants to go? I mean, unless you're, you know, you, you live on the bayou. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't really know why you'd have an air. You're going to go gator hunting or something. Other than that, why? You I mean, I just feel like if <laughs> I had an airboat, like so I'd loud. be pulled over immediately. And they'd be like, why is this boat so loud? <laughs> 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 they are so loud. So loud that you got to wear ear headphones yeah. on a boat so you can't talk or enjoy anything you're just like waiting to die the whole time <laughs> <laughs> put these headphones on and wait to die <laughs> how many air how many airboat accidents do you i don't know but i looked lots. up i looked up um what are the fatalities on oh. hovercraft racing <laughs> it just shows hovercraft racer killed in final competition before he retired dad of two dies in horrible hovercraft race um Hovercraft uh, racer dies in tragic <laughs> crash at World Championships. Wow. British hovercraft racer killed in, in final world. <laughs> it's like. Man. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to look up airboat crashes. Doesn't I'm not getting a, a statistic. It tells you just showing they got, see, got, they got slung to the side of the boat. 
28 injured in wild Florida airboat crash <laughs> when, two, when two wild Florida airboats collided. Uh, I don't see, I'm not seeing that many, really. Or else it, uh, uh, yeah, not seeing that many. Florida airboat collision sends 16 to the hospital. I'm not seeing a lot of, of, of fatalities, actually. Nah, they happen. <laughs> I know people. Or Lauren knows people that have died in a airboat accident. They do like the races. Airboat, airboat races, races, I think. Oh, that's a, that's you know? a, that, I want to see airboat race crashes. Yeah, I mean, I'm already, you know, concerned about the teeny little prop that's on a regular boat. Like, if my boat was mostly prop, I'd be a lot more afraid. It's a lot of prop, man. <laughs> I mean, a lot I think of prop. something breaks down. I mean, usually, you know, not if you own an airboat, I'm sorry, but. You know, a little bit of trashy people have airboats. <laughs> and, you know, I look at those those it's propellers. Very judgmental. Those propellers, and I'm like, man, I mean, if that guy that's on meth right there just forgot to screw that prop on, right? That thing's <laughs> going to fucking fly off and kill a family of five. I mean, look at that. Like you were saying, look at what damage that little prop can do. That little prop. Yeah. Look, look to the story last night about this 16, oh, yeah. 15 year old girl who, she, you know, she got ejected from the boat, and the boat was circling. And it got her right in the head, and it, you know she she had life threatening gash to her skull. Yeah, so had to take her to the hospital, sew up her head, and she, I mean she seems like she was getting better now, but it's like I, I think it was just like Tracy, just that little spinning gear sliced yeah. your hand. Oh man, it was a bad one. Ugh. How was your hand? I don't know. I think they butchered it. It's not bad. It's not bad. It works. You know, it's just it's very lumpy right here. A lot of lumps and, really? and a lot. You can really see a bunch of weird stuff moving and. Well, you you can move your hand. That's a good so thing. So as long as I can, I, I don't think I will have when I'm eighty. Yeah, they haven't sent me a bill, so I'll take it. <laughs> do you? Are you saying they haven't sent you a bill, or do you think they sent you a bill and you threw it in the trash? One of those two. Okay. I might have thrown it away. I'm trying to find some airboat crashes here. That looks like a great time. Just a race? They're just more country people that do that thing. Oh, uh, what's this? Yeah, I, that's what I hear about. Look at that guy down there. Look at them all around that thing. <laughs> airboats always happen? sink. I don't know oh. much about airboats, but they always sink is what I hear. Huh. Are you sharing that? Uh, no. <laughs> it's like, then what are they going to do? I guess they got to bail, they're bail, it, bail it out and tow it? Yeah. Oh, man. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> I want to see that again. Oh. Let me see that. <laughs> One more time. Here we go. Airboat drag racing. I think that was his head hitting the boat. <laughs> you think he's surviving that? I don't, I don't think, think so. I don't think he's surviving that. What's going on here? This doesn't look very it's like somebody towing in a boat. <laughs> Well, that was not exciting. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> oh, he threw his... This is what pe people think of, babe. So he he uh, he just... He, uh, he doesn't know how to do an airboat, right? Yeah. You can't go in like that like that at steep of an angle or something, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, he should have known, I think. What did he throw? His phone? And this fat, the fat guy throws his phone. He's like, I got to save my phone. <laughs> Okay, it's done. They're done, right? Yeah, they're man. done. This guy, does, does he think he knows they're done yet? <laughs> Which one is driving that boat? Like, none of them were like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> that's a mannequin, I think. And that's why he, he did it. Here we go. Which one of them is driving uh, the boat? The fat guy? The guy on no, the front. The, the guy in the blue shirt. Oh. Look, at they're completely submerged already. <laughs> they're effed. Like, oh, the fat guy says, we're doomed. Take my phone. <laughs> I don't think he. Made I, don't know he I think made he threw it, it right oh, into the water. Man. What a miserable, what a miserable time. The 
Got your headphones on? What? You got your headphones? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> he didn't even try to hang on. That guy. I'm <laughs> just like, all right. I'm falling off. <laughs> just accepted it. Man, this, this thing crashed. Here we go. Let's get another crash. There you go. Ooh. And yeah, the one on the left. Um, oh, kind of, man. All right. I, can, I want I can, an airboat <laughs> less now. I've ne yeah, I never really thought about airboat crashes before. <laughs> He's <laughs> all right. <laughs> what was that? It looked like a, oh, oh, I don't need, man, I don't need to see that. I just died. Oh, no, I can't look at that. I don't need that to see my that. Legs hurt. Oh. All right, that's about enough air bump stuff. Again. <laughs> like, I, I still don't get some boats in, in air boats. Like, air, a lot of air boats, I don't know, a lot of air boats sink. You know, you hear about that a lot. Yeah. And the on the sides, the water comes up, like, you know, to that close. You know, to the edge. And I'm always just like, why don't you just make the sides <laughs> taller? I don't understand that. Like, make the sides a little taller. I don't, so you don't think. I don't get it. I don't know. There one, must be a reason, but. One more airboat crash. And uh, if you don't like airboat crashes, blame Sean Raz. He started this nonsense with his hovercraft racing. <laughs> oh, oh, I think, man. You, get I think you get chopped, chopped up. up. I think you get chopped up if this happens to you. There's a good chance you're getting chopped oh, up. Yeah. This guy's getting chopped up. Oh, there go the blades. Chop, 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 chop. Oh, God. Where's mine? All right, <laughs> 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 oh, enough airboats. More about air, yeah. Just this just reinforced my opinion that I don't ever yeah. want to go on another airboat again. I went on a, one of them rides, you know, sightseeing rides at one time. Like, yep, yep, it's enough I'm, for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> enough air boating for me. Yep. <laughs> Something to do one time with the kids. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> Never again on the airboat. <laughs> I'm gonna pass on it. All right, so we're gonna come back and we're gonna do uh, the uh, the cruise story. So. Trace has, Trace has got a, a cruise story, and then we got uh, got the Sean Raz uh, Karen of the Week momentarily. Mm -hmm. I lost my thing. And I forgot. See, I see. That's why we can't have pops when we go out because I'm too slow. Yeah, I'm too slow, man. I admit it. I admit it. It's not my. It's Cluster F show. I mean, what do you want? <laughs> You're listening to international radio superstars on Cluster F. Genuflection is in order. Cluster Fantastico. Cluster F will be right back. Enjoy this masterpiece, you bastard. Hey, watch up. It's time for the Ned Filibuster again. That's where I say whatever the hell I want while Bubba marks out and reads posts from Scary Clown on some obscure website he shouldn't pay attention to in the first place. Here we go. I just wanted to take a moment to let everyone know they can breathe a sigh of relief because Balloon Boy's dad is now behind bars. Yes, Balloon Boy's dad, the diabolical mastermind of the nefarious scheme to pretend to accidentally launch a young boy up in a balloon, is in jail where he belongs because America demanded justice. He wasted thousands of tax dollars, thousands of dollars on a prank. Throw the book at him. Never mind the trillions of dollars Wall Street just stole from American taxpayers. And guess what? Not one of those mother <laughs> are in jail. They almost destroyed the entire world economy, and they didn't get so much as a slap on the wrist. And that's good, 
because now there's plenty of room in jail for Balloon Boy's dad. Whoopee! Yeah, that son of a bitch pulled the wool over our eyes. He pulled a prank, just like the prank the government pulled when they gave away trillions of dollars of our money to bail out giant corporations who lost it all by making horrible decisions and taking ridiculous gambles in the first place. But they got off scot-free, because nobody's paying attention. Americans care more about John and Kate plus eight, or the Octomom, or how many times Tiger Woods got <laughs> laid. But rest easy, America, because the streets are once again safe. Because Balloon Boy's dad is behind bars. So go out and enjoy those streets, America. Until a year or so from now, when you can't drive on them anymore because gas is $18 a gallon, and you ain't got no money anyway because the federal income tax is 96%, and inflation is so high, you need a wheelbarrow full of $10 bills to buy a bucket of f***ing <laughs> fried chicken. But that's okay, because Balloon Boy's dad is in jail. You deserve what you get, America. So go on about your business, you mindless drones. You f***ing <laughs> dip <laughs> morons. Night out. Now, this is your new editorial. Speaking of getting killed, yeah. guy named Chad, kind of like a six foot two, two hundred pound stud dude, younger guy. Hey, what's up? It's Ned, and it's time for another editorial. That's where I snort a half a dozen Roxies, go into defib, see the white light, then Jesus tells me some cool <laughs> to help me lay the smack down. Here we go. I'm sure everybody's heard of Cecil, the world's most awesome lion, who was illegally killed in Zimbabwe by a rich ass who likes to shoot lions in a barrel. It's been the number one story in the United States for about two weeks. And while I agree, the guy who killed Cecil, this dentist prick from Indiana, is a real f***ing ass. I think the whole thing's being blown out of proportion. People are out in the streets protesting this dentist over one lion from Zimbabwe. Meanwhile, the government is stealing all our money, big business is sending all our jobs overseas, Big Farm is drugging up entire families, and our veterans are blowing their brains out at an alarming rate. Now let me reiterate, I'm not a fan of this rich dentist who likes to execute animals in canned hunts. Personally, I think this douchebag should get shot through the chest with an arrow at point-blank range, and then forced to wander around in the desert for a day and a half until we finally put him out of his misery, just like Cecil. But still, it's not that big of a deal. So what? The guy murders exotic animals gangland style because he's got a tiny penis. I mean, it's a real dick move, but I think people are being a little bit hypocritical. In the good old USA, we kill millions of unwanted dogs and cats every year. But nobody bats an eye about that. They're just dogs and cats. They want to mark out to Cecil the mother <laughs> lion because lions are majestic creatures. Oh, yeah? Well, American Pharaoh is a pretty majestic creature, too. But that doesn't stop him from turning some of his distant cousins into dog food now, does it? But Cecil the Lion has sex appeal. And the funny thing is, if Cecil the Lion didn't have a name, nobody would give a rat's ass. Americans are so stupid. Did you hear about Cecil the Lion? Oh, my God, can you believe what they did to poor Cecil? Screw Cecil. What about a bear that gets killed legally in America? Why is Cecil the Lion better than that bear? Because his parents didn't name him Barry the Bear? The whole thing is ridiculous and blown way out of proportion. You can go down to Taco Bus. I'm serious about this. You can go down to Taco Bus and order a lion taco made out of real lion meat. And nobody gives a <laughs> because the taco wasn't named Cecil the Lion Taco. I say <laughs> Cecil. All he did was lick his balls and sleep all day. I'm going to go hang out with Barry the Bear. I hear he's got some good blow. Night out! It all started at this little hole-in-the-wall bar on Bourbon Street. I was playing a game of nine ball. Quadruple combo, six and five in the corner, four in the side, and three bacon in the corner. When I saw the worm, Dennis Rodman come in with his posse of freaks, thugs, and midgets. 
He sat down at a corner booth and plopped down an ample bag of cocaine. Well, this seemed like a situation I needed to get involved in. So I immediately sat down across the table from the worm and challenged him to a snort-off. Shit. No one had ever beaten Dennis Rodman in a cocaine snort-off before. But then again, he'd never met me. For the better part of an hour, we traded lines. Blow for blow, toot for toot. Finally, I'd had enough. I laid down a double line that looked to be 16 inches long and 2 inches wide. Then, I went at it with both nostrils. <laughs> Rodman was dumbfounded. Shit, dude. Then he asked me if I wanted to go back to his place. Well, I played hard to get. Come on, bitch. But after 12 wild turkeys and a promise he'd show me his pierced taint, we left the bar. We got to Rodman's pad, and after a couple of hash brownies, two Isaxes, and six shots of mushroom tea, I was finally starting to sober up. Then Robin pulled out a mysterious black velvet bag. Yo, Ned, check this shit out. Looked like we were about to do some toad licking. Well, then everything got foggy, 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 foggy. What are you doing to me? You my bitch! Help. Oh, yeah! My penis? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You like that, Ned? Mommy. Oh, yeah. I'm not quite sure what happened that night, but when I woke up, I was in a dumpster outside of Denny's naked from the waist down with my eyebrows shaved, my taint pierced, and my pubic hair in dreadlocks. No, wait, that was last night. Oh, well, at any rate, I'll never forget that night. I don't remember what Dennis Rodman. Welcome back to Cluster F. You gotta drill this into your head trace. Here's the schedule. Tomorrow morning, usually don't we don't usually broadcast. We're gonna be yeah. on. We're gonna be on tomorrow morning. We're doing Tuesday, Wednesday this week. Oh. This will be Tuesday, Wednesday. No show Thursday. Jerry's not coming. He can't make it either. So Tuesday, Wednesday. So tomorrow we got a show, Trace. You got that? Oh, tomorrow good. morning, eight o'clock, cluster F. And Friday, net in your head, seven forty-five. Bar Back, show? I don't know. No. It's today, Tuesday. We could still figure that out. We could still, you know, we got time to figure out if we want to do a bar show. So tomorrow, Trace. The schedule this week is today, tomorrow, 8 a.m. Tuesday, Wednesday, Cluster F, and then Friday, Ned in your head, no show Thursday. Then back to regular schedule next week. Yippee! I got the Jimmy Neutron hair going here. I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's got like a flippy thing on it. Yeah. It's get a haircut. Too, I know. It's just like haven't had time. Oh. And I'm over the edge now. Look, look, starting to look stupid. I guess I'll have to go and get a haircut. I guess I have to go take out a loan and get a haircut. <laughs> the hang? Are you doing the hang? Doing the hang? That would be what's today? Today's Monday, right? No, today. I don't even. I'm totally lost. I don't okay. know. It's Tuesday. Okay, I, don't know I just told. I just is. explained it all. Now I forgot it. Okay, so that'd be tomorrow night. The hang. So yeah. tomorrow night you get a du- I mean tomorrow you get a double dose cluster F at eight a.m. The hang at six p.m. Yippee freaking yo! There you go. Okay, we're, uh, Trace, you're gonna do your, uh, your bro your cruise, cruise story. Suck, man! Like I'm <laughs> ne- definitely never going on one. You this know is what? The, the nail in the coffin, right? Why? What happened? Well, I mean, Lauren's. This is Lauren. One of Lauren's friends. You know, was she's got a new boyfriend. And Lauren the, does. Lauren's got a new boyfriend. Yeah, <laughs> no, her friend's got a new boyfriend, and they were going to. We know both of them, and they're both gonna go on a cruise with her family for her like grandma's like 80th birthday. I don't know the event, but it was yeah. something like her grandma's like 80th birthday or something. And it was the first time they were going to meet 
you know, her new boyfriend. Yeah. And they go on a cruise, and he had a grinder in his backpack. You know, just a grinder. He didn't even know he had it. Yeah. He didn't even have any weed to grind up, you know, which is a grinder he had. And they pulled him aside as one, like a random, random person to random search. search. And they kicked her and him off the cruise. And I mean, no refund. No, and, re- no you know, refund. Oh. Him meeting his her family for the first time was him getting kicked off this cruise ship for a grinder. For a grinder. Wow. I mean, are they <laughs> is a grinder illegal to have? They sell them at stores. Paraphernalia. Yeah. How can that be paraphernalia? I mean, I guess you can call it paraphernalia, but couldn't you say you use it for tobacco or? I mean, if they sell it at a store, well, thinking, it's legal. I'm thinking you, uh, you know, once you put some weed in there and get some weed residue on it, then it becomes parent. Yeah. 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 Sean Rest says that's on, on him. He broke the rules. Go fuck. No, I'm sorry. Who wants, I'm, okay, I'm trying not I'm to tell- kill Sean. Rest. I was. I'm, <laughs> fuck that. I'm telling. I'm telling you right now. If, there's really no chance I was getting on a cruise <laughs> before, but you're telling me. That you can't, you can't smoke weed on a cruise ship. They're all what the all fuck? uptight about it. Fuck that! Sh- I wouldn't. That's I, how I, would I never felt. Do- you know, everything was I, I, like, I oh, in a- international waters. You know, everything. More things are legal, but not marijuana. How did they demonize marijuana across the, in the whole the world? world? You know, because everything, there's many things that people do in other countries that, you know, other countries don't allow or do allow. But marijuana, they managed to make that the worst thing, the in, the worst world. thing in the world yeah. in every country. All across country, the board. Across every the whole country. world. How is that? How did they manage to do that? It's even just, on I think open, everybody realized Even that, on open waters. You know, you just make everybody smokes weed. So if you make it illegal, it makes, that makes it you can check. You can, you know, pretend to be a free country, but still yeah. check everybody, you know, for anything they want to because they know they'll have some weed. You can arrest people it smells, a lot easier. Smells really strong. Yeah. But I mean, I yeah, just, that's what it is. I think the, the younger kids nowadays might have it a little easier. I don't see. As many people getting pulled over as I used to. Yeah. And I, I mean, in Wesley Chapel, there used to be, what, you know, a tenth of, of the population. Yeah. And ten times more people getting pulled over. And I mean, I just remember as a kid, like, everybody I knew was just getting pulled over and arrested <laughs> for weed. And you're just like... It was just like, oh, you know, we're going to smoke weed in the car and drive around, and eventually we're going to get arrested. It was just like... It seems... Like they wouldn't, you know, it seems like that'd be a big money maker for them. They can really get people into the system. You, you know, your first time you get busted for weed, you're going to go into the pre-trial intervention. Yeah. That's all government stuff that's, you know, they're stealing money there and they're making you pay money to boot to go to the pre-trial intervention. It's a big scam. How yeah. would the, why would they give that up? I don't know. They must be making a lot of money on weed. Yeah. That's well, what that's it is. Why, yeah, and that's why they kept it illegal federally so whatever the, so that they can change that anytime they want yeah so this the government now they own they got you know they're making money on all this taxes you know i mean all the fees you got to pay yeah. for the weed you got to pay yeah. fees and this and that and so they do, they could tell the cops okay don't worry about it now we got that we still you know yeah so yeah that's that must be what it is crystal gale says the women can get raped on cruises but no weed Oh, and Ink Spike says if he brought a gallon of vodka and died of alcohol poisoning, <laughs> he would have fit right in. <laughs> Sean Raz says you can thank all governments for it. The countries they go to, it's illegal. So the boats don't want to have illegal stuff. Like they're going to be going on the cruise ship and busting you for, for weed and cost their, their country, you know, that money. Oh, Carnival Cruise doesn't come any here anymore because we busting them, we keep busting them for drugs. I don't think that's happening. Sounds like a big bunch of bullshit. And if weed wasn't illegal in every country, like it shouldn't be, it's like so, <coughs> you know, going to another country like the Bahamas and mm-hmm. you know where reg where uh like that's reggae <laughs> rap. You know that was all mm-hmm. about weed. You know. Mm-hmm. And yet, Rasta, all those, weed, Rasta all, all those, and all those Car- Caribbean countries, countries. Are, will arrest you for weed. It don't make no sense. But I mean, okay, so when I go on vacation, you know, like you know, I like to like go to the beach, 
back in the yeah. day. Yeah. And, and I like to watch the sunset and have like a cold, cold alcoholic beverage and be high. And feel the breeze in my face and go, oh, this is so nice. If I can't smoke, I don't want to go on a cruise. <laughs> right? So I can't smoke on a cruise. I would never, ever, ever go on a cruise. What, what kind of fun is that? A boat yeah. full of people who aren't high. I mean, yeah, come on, But a man. bunch of drunken assholes. Yeah, F that. <laughs> ever, ever, never, ever, ever. I'm, I'm vehemently anti-cruise now. For sure. More now, than I want. man. Like, Boo. I mean, a be- <laughs> your beach house, like, you don't even, you just smoke weed at your beach house. Like, I don't want to worry about, I don't want to worry about going to jail if I'm going on a cruise, you know? I don't even have my car. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just going on a cruise. <laughs> yeah. What do they I do wanna- if you're out on the water and they find some Somehow they find some weed on you. Do they put you in the cruise jail? What do they call that? You broke the rules. Or do they dump you at the next port? What do they call the boat jail? I don't know. The, oh, there's a word for it. What was that? The, what do they call the, the boat jail? Boat, brig. Yeah, the brig, brig and the brig. brig. Yeah. You know, and you don't even think about that. And I guarantee on a cruise ship with that many people, they probably have a jail. They probably, you know, a little jail somewhere in the boat where they... They have to. Yeah. But, I mean, that, there's, you know, thousands of people on board. Like they say, people are going to die every cruise. Somebody dies every cruise. You know, when you have a crowd of 3,000 people for a week, somebody's going to die. I wonder how die. many people they come back to port with in jail. <laughs> and I, and I'd s- like to know that. Oh, I wonder if you can 15, look that up. I have 15 <laughs> rapists get, in the brig when uh, they get back to shore. You know, you know, I'm surprised there hasn't been some documentary about rape on cruises because you know there they hush. The, you know they hush that up. If there was a bunch of rapes going on on cruises, you know, that's the maybe the worst. You know, and they start reporting on the news. Yeah. Every time a cruise ship goes out, three women get raped. They'd be like, <laughs> "All right, well, nobody wants to go on a cruise now." So they hush it up. I mean, maybe they're not rapey. It seems like a rapey situation to me. Yeah, the first, the first working on the <laughs> cruise, yeah, like a fern of rapist, possibly. Yeah, there's a lot of rape going on. It's, it's, a, it's a very rapey environment from where It says these small jails are located in cruise-only areas and are rarely, oh, are rarely seen by guests. I thought that, and <laughs> yeah. are rarely seen by guests. I guess yeah. that, that doesn't mean not in jail. No, you're just down below with a crew. I don't want the they don't want, they want the passengers walking by some jail cell with some yeah, passenger I just in there. It meant. <laughs> I mean, it, that was insane when I got pulled off the field at uh, the Vipers game. Yeah, and went to jail. Yeah. In the, I mean, that was. I mean, it wasn't like you know they took me in and put me. You know, I was in like a room and they had one jail cell thing and they put me in there and there was one or two guys. There's like a full on jail in there. Like I'm saying, like <laughs> like I saw at least ten cops. There was like ten cops in there. It was a big, you know, fifteen room area with a bunch of holding cells. I mean, I wasn't even. Yeah. Like, it was a Vipers game. It wasn't like a Bucks game where it's super packed. And I mean, there was just. At least three other just fucking belligerent people in there yelling at the cop. I mean, they were packed. I mean, I w- if you, I, I would imagine a Super Bowl or something, they've got they've got a hundred people in the, in that jail. Probably. I mean, so do unless they Viper have, games just get crazy, might, I don't know. They might get crazy. Do they have um, like cops? Are they cops on cruises? Or I what would are imagine they? so. <laughs> or see, is or it just, just private, I think private I bet security? They have, or? I'm sure they just have a private security firm. That's a good question. If you're a cop, Sean Rasmus, and you this. like quit the force mm-hmm. and go into private security, are you still con- are you considered a cop? No, no, no. no. no pretty much. You no. have to be part of. Explain a- that to yourself, right there. <laughs> 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 if you stop being a cop, are you still a cop? <laughs> If you have your license, what is it? You get a license. Your cop's license. To be a police officer. <laughs> what is and this? And just because you quit that job, <laughs> I guess you can't claim to be a cop. No, you can't. X to your next cop. Hmm. I, what, what is the deal with that? With the, you know, he's pretty good, the cross guy at the school. Yeah. You know, yeah, he's, he's good. The, he's good. He's good. But, like, what? 
this that job and that's, that's, it just seems like the shittiest job that's ever existed. I mean, if he's making, I mean, even if he's making fifteen dollars an hour, which I don't think he even it probably like twelve hours dollars an hour, but you only yeah. work two hours a day or thirty minutes a day, <laughs> twice a day, once at fucking nine maybe o'clock and one at four. Like maybe that's, that's all he wants to work. Yeah, but you're what for a, for for eleven dollars? It maybe it keeps him young. <laughs> I mean, it keeps him angry. Yeah, that's what it yeah. keep me. Does a good job. He does though. a good job. Does a good job. Because I've noticed when they have no nonsense. They have a fill-in guy occasionally, and it's like, well, oh, he ain't doing that right. He's like, he's he's like, you know, good. I wanted he's, to get him a gift card for the end of the year, but you didn't. I didn't. But you yet. didn't. Yeah. We should. We should. I can't get him afford a gift card. it now. <laughs> I mean, he don't he five. don't take no <laughs> shit, man. I wanted to get him like a. Two hundred dollar gift card. Two hundred dollar gift. Well, he Woo. does a good job, Woo. and he's an old guy, and he. She's looking for privileges for her car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, Miss Donna, oh. Miss Donna, Miss <laughs> Donna, bring her in. He already does that. <laughs> And you want to know why? Because she blew him. (laughs) (laughs) You want to know why? Because I'm not a fucking R. I'm not a fucking idiot. I know when to, like other people, he does this and they go like a half a mile an hour towards him. And he's just like, come the fuck on. That's what he wants to do. And they just, and I, he waves me. I, I go. And he knows that I'm ready to go at every moment. I think when and the, other people, he's just having to come the fuck mm-hmm. on. It's like <laughs> there's a speed limit is like 15, you know, 20 around that area. It's a school zone. But I think when the crossing guard is going like this to you, you go. <laughs> yeah, fast, you go speed like it up a little like, bit. Faster, faster. Well, I hate those people that it's like the speed the speed um, limit is like 15. Yeah. But they go five. I know. It's like what the fuck. <laughs> is wrong with you there's no kids out here walking for one thing nobody yeah. walks to school at the school yeah it's not a thing where kids are crossing just get the fuck up there and go and they just can't do it i mean i i won't lie lauren and a lot of people get mad at this but if the if the traffic's not backed up into the road you know if the line's a little shorter yeah and the cars in front of me move up you know, I, I have my car. I usually put my car in park and just chill there, you know. And sometimes the people move, and you know, I'll just take my time. And you know, Lauren just like scoot up, scoot oh, up. Oh, you know, yeah, people, that guy. Could, people are. But it to doesn't get matter. It doesn't matter. You can't prove to me that it matters if you. Oh, if, if not that many people are there. Because it only goes forward so far, and eventually I'm going to move up. If I sit, if I, people get mad at the gaps. If you leave a gap, people are getting pissed. It's anarchy, Trace. If you don't follow because the rules. Because if I'm out at the road trying to pull in, I'm he's like, saying, but I he's, can't pull he's in. He's saying if it's not crowded, though. Oh, okay. He's saying it's not. So I get, I, yeah, it's just, it's just kind of, a, you're just kind of being a dick. I think yeah. you're being a dick, a control <laughs> freak. Like, yeah, you can't pull in front of me. <laughs> I think that's what it is. No yeah. reason. There's no reason for that, buddy. Conform. <laughs> conform. I think we'd all be better if we just learned to conform. I think we need to. Think you need to realize that. Happy birthday, Tucson chick. Oh, it was Lauren's birthday, birthday yesterday. Oh yeah, Lauren's birthday Happy too. Happy birthday, Lauren. Yeah, I think uh, somebody. I think Tucson chick may have subscribed earlier, but it yep. is forty-two months. <laughs> Thank you very much for every, anybody who subscribes. Uh, we appreciate the yep. long-term commitment to the show. Thank you, everybody. Yesterday was ter- The past couple of days have been terrible, man. I I never know what to get anybody as a gift, and I just had you know double Mother's Day, you know, oh, shoot. double Mother's, Mother's Day, Day, and my wife's <laughs> birthday. I'm like one day. There's a lot of yeah. trying to figure out what to get people. Double Mother's Day. Lauren says, "Close Anna the gap." Anna, <laughs> uh, that's yeah. Her birthday. Uh, was it on Mother's Day? The day after. Yeah. That was the day after. That's right, the Trace. day after. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't even hear what you said. I was just. Yeah. That's just standard. That's like me. Like me when on the old show. Yeah. Exactly. I did just pull one of the. I didn't hear anything you said. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, <laughs> Bubba. I agree wholeheartedly. 
I'll be back. All right, I hate that. (laughs) I've got a new stance that's not making me any friends. What's that? I I just, I, you know, I kind of was like the anti-war deal. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm anti-war now. You know, and I just started talking to a couple people on what you, Facebook or in, no, uh, just in person. Like the last okay. couple times at the bar, and people be getting pissed at me. I'm like, I oh, and then they start yelling at like they this, want war. Yeah, like it, what the the current war? I would just I know I was just talking about I think you war know in general they just they I heard you know a guy mentioning more and I was like oh, I don't you know isn't it kind of war kind of childish and people just be like bah, 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 bah. war is necessary we need to give I'm just like, but you know, like if me and you had a brain, me and you had a problem and I said, all right, we're going to fucking shoot this out when you, you know, we're going to go to jail (laughs) or people would think what, you know, you guys are stupid. Like gang violence is the pretty much the same and gangs are bad and everybody's against that. But when it comes to countries fighting, it's like, you just, they're just, you know, I think with all the money we spend on war, <laughs> we could get in a room with these people and fucking have a conversation and be like, this isn't this ridiculous that we're doing more? And people yeah. be getting pissed as fuck at me. <laughs> and what, you know, this guy, wow, this guy, you know, after that, about what I just said was all that yeah. I said. And afterwards, he's, I was like, all right, now I'm leaving. And I'm like, he was like, all right, have a good one. Uh, thank God I informed you because you had some really terrible views on this world. I was like, what? what you, I'm just saying world is a little uh, bit childish and maybe we should yeah. figure it out some other way. It's not really that big of a well, you, stance, you know, I feel like. <laughs> you know, it's too intellectual. It's too intellectual. You're being too intellectual, Trace, because we, when you break it down, it's like, so whoever, whichever country, whoever we can kill more yeah. of means that we get to do what we want to do. It's like, that's like so caveman-ish. It, that's what it's it seems like pot. to me. But and I, I like don't. A, of course you have to defend yourself if you're attacked. Yeah, you know, but, but war ain't like that no more. War's been big business for 70 years, mm-hmm. 100, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe the Revolutionary War was big business. <laughs> You don't even know. Yeah. You have no idea. So, well, we know the history, and we know it was about this, and then the United States felt this, and it's like, or maybe somebody was making big money on that war. I mean, <laughs> I've had some person argue me with me that we need war to keep our economy going, and I think that is true. But isn't that a very flawed system? Yeah, it's a very <laughs> flawed. It's a very flawed system. I want who uh, look up who the biggest cannonball manufacturer was in 1776, <laughs> and you might know why we had why we, <laughs> big cannonball, the Roth, Roth, Rothschild <laughs> cannonballs. I guarantee it. <laughs> Take a dollar to make, and they're selling for two hundred. Because I mean, you don't think about that. Indeed, they're they're um, shooting a lot of cannonballs. You know, and those things aren't. They're not. They're not small. I mean, they you know they weigh a yeah. lot. So I'm so how who was making those thousands of cannonballs? Probably the same guy, same guy making cannonballs <laughs> for each side, just raking it in. The Revolutionary War, you heard it here first, was a scam <laughs> based on money and cannonballs. I wouldn't be shocked to hear that. Man, that... not shocked at all. <laughs> what? You don't hear about cannons anymore. That's not a thing. <laughs> I guess tanks, but. I guess they're art- artillery guns, like you know, on a battleship. <laughs> yeah. They used to have the cannons. Now they got, they can shoot missiles and hit you from you know 180 miles away, dead ass center. I don't know how they do that. Alien technology, in my <laughs> opinion. I don't know. I don't understand it. I mean, how many how many ships actually had cannons on them back in the day? Is that something like the fucking ocean was such the fucking wild west that every boat. Big boat traveling had to have a bunch of cannons out on the side of it. That's a good question. I bet they did. I mean, what are you going to do if a pirate ship comes up to you and they got, you know, eight cannons? Yeah. And what do you do? You got no cannons. You just give them all your stuff. Or do you cannonball it out? That's got to suck because if you sink in the middle of the ocean, who's going to rescue you? You know, the pirates? (laughs) And they're all going to get raped. Raped on the high seas by pirates. You know, I mean, pirates is the the, the the movie pirates, not the movie pirates, but like pirates in movies. In movies. It's just so preposterous when you really think about it. I don't think any of that existed at all. It might not have. It might not have existed at all. Nothing close to it. You know, could be completely different. I mean, all it's, 
it just seems it's, it, the way they were dressed and all that. I mean, I think if you go, you know, just in your town, think of like the area where there's a bunch of like crackheads and shit. Yeah. You know, I think you take those people and put them on a boat, and that's what that's pirates, the pirates were. were. <laughs> it's the, yeah, the it's the bo- scummiest, scummiest, laziest people. <laughs> Let's just float around and take other people's <laughs> shit. Yeah, I think so. I'm not a bad gig, you know, maybe, but. Oh, you're always on the run, though. I guess. I don't know. I, that, that, yeah, n- that none of, like, you know, we got a whole, like, the big one of the biggest events of the year, probably in almost the entire state of Florida, is Gasparilla Day, where probably almost half a million people show up to celebrate a fake pirate, and they know he's fake. You know, we're like, yeah, it's just a legend of Jose Gaspar. He wasn't real, but now it's turned into this giant thing, and it, they don't, you know, it's a fake pirate. They're yeah. per- who, like, do you think Blackbeard, you know, was real? He might have been real, but every about everything they talk about is probably completely one hundred percent fake. <laughs> I mean, talking about rape on cruise ships, I mean, I don't think you could step foot on the open seas as a woman back in the day without getting oh. raped, right? Like, <laughs> I mean, if you're a woman, on you know, crossing the Atlantic back in the day and you see that pirate flag, you're like, oh, uh-uh. it's time to get raped. <laughs> Nothing you can do about it, I guess. <laughs> you know, yeah, you don't really... Because, I mean, that's like the ultimate... You know, you're out at sea with a bunch of dudes on a boat, not, you know, no women to have sex with, I for, think. For a long time. <laughs> you hop on a boat and you find a woman, I think she's getting raped by a I bunch of that, guys. You know, I mean, yeah, you, I mean, every pirate movie is, you know, just you know, really far-fetched, you know, yeah. and Hollywooded up. It's like, there's no real pirate movies. <laughs> Maybe the one, the Somali pirate movie with Tom yeah. Hanks is about the probably the realest pirate, pirate, pirate movie you get. In the movie, do they show like how those guys' lives were destroyed by by Who, whose lives? Th- didn't you say like the Somali pirates were like you know they're kind of justified in what they're doing? No, not in that movie, but no, that, not. But when I watched yeah. that movie, the whole time I was rooting for the pirates. You know, I yeah. was like, <laughs> you know, it's really. To the Somalian pirates, they they are very upset because we've taken away their livelihood by overfishing where they live, you know, just dragging yeah. nets where these people, you know, make their living or and feed their families off this fish. Yeah. And now one of the only, you know, they're like, well, they've fucked us so bad that now yeah. the only real job is to go be a pirate, you know, to feed your family and stuff. And just the way they're raised and they do it, they're like, you know, when I'm watching the thing, I'm just like, I'm, yeah, if I was lived in Somalia, I'd be a pirate. Like, you know, you, you, <laughs> yeah. let's see. That's that's called the, it's thinking like that is so dangerous to the governments that they call it, They've got a word for it. it's called a moral equivalency and you can't do it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so don't do it anymore. See, they, you know, you're you're like a weird, you're like a, a luna, left wing lunatic if you talk about moral equivalency. Like I saw this thing about these albacore fishermen in in Africa. Yeah, and I don't really know what albacore is. It's but they go down and they get it, and then the big companies came in and you know took all their albacore, and now they got nothing. And it's like, you know, sometimes you, if <laughs> someone comes in and takes away your way of life. You might react very strongly to that. A lot of people. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's insane. You know, I mean, the, there was, I watched something about, I don't even know, there were like some type of clam or whatever on this island. And, you know, it's like how the people made their living and ate yeah. these clams and shit. And like we came in and made it illegal <laughs> for them to, you know, Get these clam, you know, like a fishing, re- put a fishing regulation yeah. on the clams and stuff. When they, when and they, they, yeah, they could send, be there for centuries and not mess up the clams. Like, it's, it's us yeah, that mess up the clams. And then we send boats in and go, to go get the clams that, are, you know, have to pay all this money to get a license. Mm-hmm. And then you got a guy on a fucking wooden boat, you know, out there that can't afford to get a fucking, you know, hundred dollar License because he lives in this, you know, third in a hut. Yeah, yeah, he lives in a hut. He doesn't even hut. know what money yeah. is. <laughs> money, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and well, quit talking like that. They got to go out and illegally f- fish for him, and it's like, who wouldn't? Yep. But don't, yeah, you can't talk like that. 
you know, that's so yeah, I mean, you're gonna oh, see this is just it's like every war, it's like every war I've uh, since I've been a you know around, you know, when I like when I talked against the Iraq war, you know, the first one, yeah, I can't see if I make sure I'm right in my yeah, the first one, I can't remember, for, no, it was probably the second one, it was the second Iraq war. And I got on the air and I was like, man, this is a bunch of BS. I said, this is the fake. And boy, people hated me. They hated me. And I was completely right. <laughs> completely right. The Iraq war was a completely it's... fraudulent war but to make trillion dollars for, for giant corporations. I guess it's just human nature, man. I don't know. People just... They got, you know, most of the people duped into picking a side and you pick... One side of every opinion, there can't be any talk about it or nope. agree, trying to come up with an agreement on any situation. It's just one side or the other. It's like this whole Israeli thing. It's like you're not going to win an argument with people. They're like, well, we, you know, we have to support Israel. No, we don't. You know, we don't need to be sending billions of dollars to all these countries. Let them fight their fight their own war. Uh, probably just better. You better just stop. But see, you see that they got to where now you can't even you can't even talk about stuff like that. I mean, I think there could probably be a pretty easy um, resolution to. <laughs> it, it's I mean, see, see, you're thinking you're, when people are thinking about the Israeli war, they're they're not they have no idea what's going on. Ninety percent of people don't know what's going on. They're not thinking deep enough to think. Well, maybe both sides, Hama, how the leaders of Hamas, are. Ultra rich. Yeah. The leaders in Israel are ultra rich and they keep this thing going and they keep taking the money just like we do in America. You know, our quest you know, to bring democracy to the world is making what? Billions of dollars for people. We don't get You're a fighting shit about for a country. Democracy. Either side is fighting for a country whose leaders are like on a boat in the fucking Bahamas. And don't. Like, don't care about you at all. Fuck it. I mean, I I wouldn't put it past him, you know, to to drive by <laughs> two giant yachts, one from fucking <laughs> Hamas and one from Israel, two billionaires <laughs> driving past each other. That this what that they're the reason this war is going on. And they just say, hey, no, they high five. <laughs> they high five. They're just going good. Yeah, it's going good, just like we want. Well, it. people are dying fighting for what they're. <laughs> it's like in 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 the Ukraine, you you know, allegedly. I mean, I, they don't show a lot of footage from the Ukraine, but you know, the, like all the young Ukrainian men have been slaughtered. You know, they all been, they all got slaughtered for what? Ain't nothing gonna happen. The war is gonna accomplish nothing. It'll just end up being like it was. And some oh, whew, somebody made a lot. You know how many hundred billions we sent over there? Yeah. Somebody made a just a. An ob some people made an obscene amount of wealth on both sides on this war in Ukraine. And that's what it's all about. You know, just because the hippies said it back in the 70s, make love, not war. They had it right. It's like, man, this war shit is all fake. It's all fake. Sure. Somebody attacks you. But you know what? That attack was probably fake and set up by the guy who you know controls both sides. But why isn't it? You know they complain about the money and then bring people bring up. Um, fuck! What is the what, Maui? You know that burnt down. I'm like, yeah. why didn't we give? Is that not a thing we do? Is give rebuild our country? I mean, with, okay, like any like anybody, you know, you can't even make sense of it. There's no, you know, I. I guess they would say something to the effect of there's no regulations where we can give them the money to blah, blah, blah. To stay. They come up with some kind of bullshit. But actually, you're giving hundreds of billions of dollars to other countries when these people lost everything. They're American citizens. Shouldn't be, it be the priority of the government to go, we're going to help these people. <laughs> Shouldn't that be a... Oh, we need to stop talking about it. People, like, I just think it's normal talking, but some people just fucking get pissed as fuck. You know, there's probably 30 people tuning out right now. Like, oh, I'm never listening to that fucking show again. I don't know. That's because of war? Just because the talk on war? Just people just get upset. It's, you know, they're... I don't know. Some people just can't have a conversation about it and not get all angry, schmangry. There's <laughs> yeah, nothing you can do about it. Just talking about it. Nobody ever even, you know, talks about, you know, I hear all this stuff about Maui and people talking about fundraisers and shit. But did they get lasered up? 
<laughs> Did they? Is, is that? <laughs> I mean, I saw a lot of videos of people like, you know, Maui just got lasered up. I, I guarantee that, who, I mean, six months, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, it's going to come out that they lasered Maui. <laughs> and everyone will, will be like, yeah, we kind of thought that. And no one will be outraged. No one will be going, they lasered. <laughs> Then it killed hundreds of people, you know. It's just the way it is now. And I think it could be six months from now. And people wow. would be, we're to the point where people are really like, yeah, they killed Epstein. And then they, they, they lasered Maui. And people are just, they're just jaded to it. Yeah. And the government does what it wants and not, nothing ever happens. So let's go get our Starbucks. Well, supposedly they, you know, if you live in Maui, the government's, you know, Giving you seven hundred and fifty dollars, <laughs> and it not many people have got it yet. It doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> year like years later, you're gonna get your check for seven hundred and fifty dollars for losing your house. Is it because Maui is so far away? It was just out of sight, out of mind. See, that's you know the media is in on it because the media doesn't cover it. it. Should be like a every week. Every night on the nightly news, one of them guys. I don't watch them anymore. <laughs> they used to. Be, the yeah. anchors used to be kind of household names. Lester Holt. You're watching Lester Holt, and he goes, you know, he, every night he goes Maui, burnt to the ground. Still, no reaction from Congress. While hundreds of million do of dollars go to the Ukraine, Taiwan, and Israel, you don't hear that, and you ain't gonna hear <laughs> it. It's all right, let's talk about something. <laughs> I got something good. I less. I actually read a whole heavy. movie. You read a whole movie. Yeah, in a different language. <laughs> it's the most my brain. Oh, okay. My brain still hurts, <laughs> but it was so. It was this. This. It was insane. It was about this guy. This that was on a game show, in I think China, I believe, and it was just like the craziest. Thing ever like they put this guy he, he, you might have heard of it where he has to w live off the prizes he wins out of you know like uh and in these books well what would you call it like comic books they have prizes in them or whatever and he has to survive on that in a room alone okay in a he has to he, all he gets is pen and paper and this thing rack of magazines uh -huh. that have contests in them and he has to you know send in things to try and get the prizes okay you know? That's and, and he he was like in solitary confinement by himself and he did it for like a year you know and they didn't tell him what was going on it was for, for TV and it's just like a real a reality show or it's a fake. Fiction. It was like a real reality show okay. in China, and it was okay. a documentary gotcha. about it. Gotcha. And it, it, how cruel it was for this guy. And It'd make you crazy. I mean, they told him like, "Oh, most of this stuff isn't going to be aired or whatever." And he had to be naked the whole time. Oh, you had to be naked the whole time. He was naked the whole time, unless he, you know, won something in one of these magazines with clothes in it. So, which he never yeah. did. Yeah. But he, you know, he he had to he had to make a million dollars. You know, win a million dollars in these prizes to get out. To get out. And it took him like a year. And it was like, he, you could tell he had lost his fucking, this guy had lost his mind by the end of it. Yeah. You know, and they finally are like, yeah, you won. And they blindfold him and take him into this room and then put him back in. And to have him start all over again because it was so popular. It's like 30 million people viewing it a day. They put him back in. Like they have him in prison. He's a prisoner. Yeah. It's but, a kidnapping, but right? They, he, the door was unlocked. He could have got out at any time. But like he was like at one point, like I just felt like. He was addicted to it or. He was just, he just couldn't do it. He just wouldn't walk out. He was like, I just felt like a prisoner. Even though the Did door was Did he get like open. a million dollars for the first one or he didn't get anything? He didn't get that much money. He had to. Because it's China. But he was the mo it was the most interesting thing I've ever watched, you know. And then he basically went insane. And after about four hundred and something days, <laughs> they let him out finally. And you know, he was he didn't know he was even famous for this whole year. He was in there, being you know, naked, being naked. He didn't know he was famous. Was he humiliated? Why do you have to be naked? 
Because it's China. <laughs> the Asian sense of humor is different than ours, I think. Yeah, I guess it's a lot of nudity because his mom, when he was going to do this, he just was going to do a game show deal, and she was like, don't get naked. <laughs> so I guess that would, must be a thing they like is nudity. <laughs> they, say, they say solitary confinement, you know, just for, for anybody. It's like definitely... Drive you insane mm-hmm. Yeah this guy was like crazy you know And he he was crazy by the end of it When he got out he like his He lived in Fukushima mm-hmm. Where the earthquake hit And you know every, So many like his whole family Lived but they were like the only ones That lived like so many people He knew died And you know he he was a part of the Rescue team or whatever And then he's mm-hmm. like You know I still can't get over I'm still mentally fucked up. I got to do something crazy to try and fix it. So he goes to climb Mount Everest. And there's an earthquake there while he's there. Is it, what's the, what are the chances of that, right? Are you sure this isn't all scripted? It's I, I, I was looking for it the whole time. I was, I was like, is this real? You think it was real? It seemed pretty real. The guy seemed like he lost his mind from being in solitary confinement. I think they say that's what happened. <laughs> I'm gonna light, gonna lighten the mood. I think I think we've I've, we've showed this one before. Many I saw I just saw it come up and I was like, yeah, this is how you do it. This is how you do the first pi- pitch. We like to do first pitches here. First pitches are always entertaining. It's John Daly. John Daly. John Daly, look at this with the shorts on, throwing out the first pitch. Gets up there and throws a strike. That's fat from, magic, right there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> From the f- you know the full day, a lot of people do it from the from the fi- front of the mound. He a lot of people that don't look like him can't throw that. Ball I mean, he didn't across even he didn't get up there like, oh, this is gonna. He's like, I know how to fucking throw a ball, and I just took seven fucking shots at Jack Daniels, uh, yep. and no problem. Yeah, there's, a, there's a sixty miler right down the center of the Daily, plate. look at this with the shorts on, throwing out the first pitch. That's a good pitch right there. I mean, man. that was a that was like good seventy pitch. miles an hour. That's a high like, goal. Like he's got, look at the form. Look at this, this great. Watch this form. This is great form. He got, <laughs> he got um, flip flops on too. He's got, he's got <laughs> shorts. He does. He does. <laughs> look at that wind up. It's impressive. This with the shorts on. Damn, out the high heater. Bench. High <laughs> heater. It could have just left him in. There's Miss. Uh, miss, miss what? <laughs> that doesn't oh, no, look like good form so see. far. Miss St. Louis, who's this? <laughs> There's Miss Missouri. Everybody's throwing first pitches. She have a oh. <laughs> and Brad Thompson will bring you the first it. pitch. That looked like it went it. straight oh, up in the air. Yeah, yeah, it went <laughs> in. Everybody's throwing first pitches. It slipped out of her finger. Oh, There's Miss Missouri. It like goes straight <laughs> up. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> look how high that is. Look, she's looking up. It's up here. <laughs> and then she acts like, yay! Yay! I did it. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Miss America quit, stepped down because of mental health issues. Good. And then Miss Teen America refused to take her place, or, or she refused her crown. It's like there's a lot of turmoil in the pageant industry. It's like, Sounds like there's a lot of uh, mental issues in the pageant. <laughs> yeah. <that's, laughs> if, if, if you mention pageant, you know, I immediately think you have something wrong with you. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it seems... P- mentally fucked up parents, I think, would mainly be at a beauty beauty pageant. Yeah, like yeah. all of them. Like, yeah, I think something's a little off with you. Yeah. I think it. Can you? I mean, can you imagine the snowflakes nowadays? You know, who are you're in a pageant, and you're all that pressure and everything, and you're snowflaked out from social media and everything. It's probably insufferable, yeah. insufferable people. Plus, you get you know all kinds of comments now you didn't used to get <laughs> on your social media. You're getting trashed constantly yeah. on social media if you're in that, and it's you're getting trolled by all the other contestants trying to drive <laughs> yeah. you. Oh, it's a dirty <laughs> game. Yeah. The pageants, oh, it's a terrible. And the other contestants' terrible. mother and family. And I mean, it's just a bunch of bitches that hate each other. You know, once it gets, once it probably gets more, you know, the adult ones like Miss USA or whatever. Yeah. I mean, it's just a bunch of women 
that hate each other more than anything else, know, pretending to be nice to yeah. each other. Oh, and that's, those are the terrible. ones that hate each other more than anything. Yeah, I'm saying they Yet hate... they have to all pretend like they love each <laughs> what other. What a terrible Isn't endeavor. Isn't that awful? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> they have to pretend more than anybody oh, that they you. like. You won, you beat me, you're prettier than me. Good <laughs> yeah. job. I mean, the they... main thing that they... <laughs> That they go on their whole life is that I'm prettier than everybody, and then they have to love someone else that beat them because they're yeah. prettier than them. I mean that reaction shot is yeah, they have to practice that. They, they're probably told, okay, yeah. you know, if you lose, you have to immediately go, oh my god, I'm so happy that she beat me. And that's what they have to do. Yeah, I feel like they give it to an ugly person like every, once every ten years too, <laughs> just to like not. Pretend to pretend like it's, it's not, not all, all about, about looks. Be, the looks. Maybe that ugly person <laughs> paid the most money and blew the most judges. There's probably all kind of C. I all mean, it's probably so C. Oh, imagine blowing a guy to win a beauty pageant. Like, that's an all time <laughs> low right now. And that, you know, naturally, the guys who try to get to become judges. The beauty pageant pageants are all looking for blowjobs. <laughs> that's why they that's why they, they did it, right? Yeah. How many blowjobs do you think uh. I can get if I do this? <laughs> they ask. And imagine imagine the girls that gave blowjobs and didn't win because he was like, mm, sorry about your luck, I got seven more blowjobs. Yeah. <laughs> do I have to take a blowjob from the trans? <laughs> Who do you vote for <laughs> if they all blew you? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Best blowjob. <laughs> Might as well be what the name of the pageant is. <laughs> Miss, Miss, Miss Best, Best Blow, Blow Job, Job America. <laughs> All righty. Let's take a break, come back, and we're going to come back with the Sean Raz Karen of the Week. <laughs> DJ Digital. Imagine doing, blowing the guy in to win and you still lose. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> they all blew him. So. That's, I bet that so happens. now it's become... That's Not just that I, I blew him, it's whoever. Now I got to compete to give him the best blow job. I think we that already sucks. told this joke. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> so, yeah, can't be just as you run can't in the middle. Run, can't phone in the blow job. <laughs> <laughs> got a Nancy Reagan it. Mm. The throat goat. Oh, I'll, be, I'll be right back <laughs> with more cluster F. Here's a quick mechanic. Here we go. What's going on? This is the quick mechanic. I'm not going to tell you about my kids or my cats. I'm just going to tell you how to change the oil on this Nissan Rogu. Rogue. 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 Oh, the car. <laughs> what car? Rogue. <laughs> what is it? Rogue. I a messed rogue. up. Yeah, I messed up a bunch, you know. But I was it was so rogue. frustrating after <laughs> changing oil for hours. Did on three cars, I was just like, this is good enough. I used my what my 14 inch wrench. I think I said. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, 14 millimeter. Whatever it takes. <laughs> this is 14 inch wrench. <laughs> <laughs> the, drunk, the drunk mechanic. Nissan <laughs> Roku. I got my 14 inch wrench and my four pound pliers. <laughs> God. <laughs> my 20 gallon oil filter. <laughs> Do the rest of my hand. Oh, look at that. Just take that right off, buddy. Oh, no. I missed a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's definitely oil spillage out there. I was going to the say, is there oil Oh, all for over sure. Over. Yes, it's there like, is. It's like a car got murdered. <laughs> Great. Oh, I mean, I, I should have taken a picture. I, I had to get let Buttercup out, so I had to go clean a path for her. Uh, <laughs> Where she, you know, get get from the stall to the grass, yeah. just littered with <laughs> oil, uh, empty oil um, <laughs> containers, wrenches, oil pans full and of that, oil. That was after I told rags. him. Rags. That was after I told him that socket set. Trace, just so you know, <laughs> if you ever want to open your own garage type thing, uh, um, you know, people appreciate shit cleaned up. Well, you know, I also was like, oh, I got to go clean that up. And you're like, eh, just go to the store instead. Well, you did. because <laughs> I, I know <laughs> because he was going to go out and clean it up after he showered when he'd be sweating and have to go to the store. So I said, do it when you get back. And he didn't. And he didn't. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. He forgot. Right. He forgot. <laughs> All right, here we go. Is Buttercup out? Just going to let that. Yes, she is. Is the gate shut? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. Drain. 
Oh, Pop you know, it's very hard to unloosen that. <laughs> what do they call loosen? it? Stop cock, yeah. you know, on the oil pan. Stop cock. No, it's not that. Whatever it is. I that just called it the oil plug. The oil plug. <laughs> yeah, the oil plug. Because as soon as, you know, you get it loose enough for that oil to come out, that, you know, you yeah. get the hot oil, yeah. you can't get your hand out of there fast <laughs> enough. And it's, you're always going to get that oil. Is a stop cock something, or did stop you just cock. make that up? Stop cock's like a it's butter. Got cock on the mind. <laughs> stop. stop cock. Stop cock was like stop cock was like the butterfly thing on your radiator that oh, you twist in. Yeah. They called it a stop cock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the quick mechanic is all he's we doing. We do know he needs a bigger bucket. We just couldn't find a bigger bucket. So He needs a, uh, I mean, he's got 25 seconds in. Here we go. Now we're going to put the bolt back in. Good enough. <laughs> now you got to find an oil filter. <laughs> this one's a little... <laughs> What? You get what I was trying to do. I said, get the video here. What happened? <laughs> no, boy, did that video. Did I get the point? <laughs> He's just going what? back and forth with that. It's not, it wasn't even starting to be threaded, and he just cuts away. <laughs> oh. Everything about this video was totally fraudulent. <laughs> And Spike says, Trey should have his customers sign something that says, I don't have to do this. <laughs> don't let that drain. <laughs> Definitely have to have him sign something no one wants to get into. Wait, here we go. Here we go. Watch that. Just a little bit. Just don't let that drain. <laughs> we're going to put the bolt back in. <laughs> now you got to find an oil filter. <laughs> this one's a little hot. I just fade out. I'll try to right here. Boom, grab one of these. It was too big, but I was able to remove it and loosen it by hand. <laughs> baby on there. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> The oil filter's not even in the camera. It's just him going whoop whoop and <laughs> doing a twisty motion. Oh. Got four quarts in there. Take the funnel out. Put the cap back on. Oh, it's going on. This is the quick mechanic. I'm not going to tell you about my kids and my cap. I'm just going to tell you how to change the oil on this new <laughs> did you put the caps on? Uh, yeah. That's what I want to know. I, did. I think I did everything right. You know when I said, let's just have Trace do it because you know when you take your car to these oil places, they forget to put the caps on. They fill it up too much with oil. Now I'm starting to wonder. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, like, I like the end when you put the cap when the cap on. Take the out. Put the cap back on. All done. <laughs> All done. It didn't even begin to go on. Welcome back to Cluster F. If this really is Cluster F, and not some devious undercover government operation to expose cool people who fucking get it, so they can be subsequently re-educated. Carry on, comrades. Welcome back to Cluster F. Is this playing in the appropriate spot, or did Manson hit the keyboard with his big penis? Sounds like a win-win. Oh, God! Cluster Fantastic! Welcome to the coolest fucking chat west of the Prime Meridian. Yeah, go look it up, bitches. It's Cluster F. Cluster Fantastic! Welcome back to Cluster F. Don't forget, tomorrow, usually off on Wednesdays, we're going to switch it up this week. Today and Wednesday, tomorrow, 8 o'clock. Hang tomorrow night. So you got Cluster F at 8 in the morning. Hang at 6 o'clock. And then Ned in your head Friday morning. Back to regular schedule. Ned's to- Navy says, Toyo Tommy just whispered me and said he got banned from Twitch, but wants the waters to know he's listening but can't chat. 
Why do you get Why do you get banned? I wonder. I don't know. How do you get banned? I don't know. You get banned from Twitch from altogether, the whole Twitch, banned as from opposed to you know one person's channel. I didn't know that was a thing. I don't know. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> what did you do, Toyo Tommy? <laughs> Man, that quick mechanic video got me, man. Like I had a little breakdown outside the, right outside the studio, uh, <laughs> like a laughing breakdown. Yeah. It's like I was like almost crying at one point. <laughs> I couldn't stop. Quick mechanics, where it's at. I'm telling you, traces. Was that? I was I telling you about the tree trimmers? What last night? About like um, I was driving around. And I saw these. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw these. You know, it's a, I'm pulling up behind this truck, and it's a beat up old truck, and it's got neon green spray painted on the back window. Tree service. Oh, <clears throat> a total junker, and a couple other like phone numbers spray painted in lime yeah. green spray paint. <laughs> yeah. And they're out in the front yard, you know, just, you know, just trimming this palm tree. And then I came back, or when I came back home, same way, same neighborhood. The guys were there at a different house. And I'm like, see, they're smart. They're probably just going house to house going, hey, we'll do this cheap. Yeah. yeah. We, we, as you can see, we're the low budget operation. <laughs> and there's a mar I mean, there's room to make that money and undercut people now because everything's so expensive. Yeah. Everything's so expensive. You know, so these, they're like, we only need to make this much. <laughs> just like those dudes that fix my Cadillac, man. I mean, they. You know, they I, I was quoted like four thousand dollars at the store, and they came and fucking just jacked it up and bashed it into place with sledgehammers <laughs> to where it worked pretty good for ninety bucks. <laughs> There's a market for that yeah. for sure now. That's mm -hmm. what, so I'm gonna do the Sean Raz care of the week in just a second. I think if you my high bathroom thought, I actually remembered one. I wonder if there were Karens in Rome. Like a lot of Karens, if all oh, the women, off with their heads. If all the women were were Karens and you know it was a fall, the Roman before it fell, you know. Yeah. I wonder if that if that happened. And this is the, the sign. There's so many Karens, <laughs> guys, girls. We're all Karens. We're a society of Karens. Yes. Donna de dealt yeah. with a couple Karens yesterday. Oh my God! Fucking bitches. <laughs> Fucking bitches. I've never yelled at anybody like that. So my kids think that I, you know. If I complain about something, I'll complain, but I don't, I never yell at anybody like that. Right. Well, it's very it's like, courteous and professional. Yeah. It's like I wouldn't yell at someone coming to deliver something to me. I got the door slammed in my face <laughs> because, you know, one of these stupid third party from you flowers or 800 flowers sent me an order on Monday to deliver to someone that probably someone else fucked up. Or they didn't get it out in time because they won't give people enough money for them. So I get the order for Monday. You know, print it out right there. It says the delivered on Monday. And then, you know, if your son doesn't want to send you flowers anymore because it's a day late, then he should cancel the order, right? But instead, you know, I'm taking... And this is the first year this has ever happened. I always get orders, a year, you know, that's I, a day after a holiday. I always get a bunch of orders. Always on Mother's Day, I'll get a bunch on Monday from all these other people that fucked up orders. You know? get a bunch so yesterday. I get all the ones to, for, to fix for people, stuff like that. And I've never had a problem, ever. So I'm convinced that social media has turned everybody into a fucking asshole because this is, that's never happened. And I had so many people bitching that it was late. You know, because now everybody's entitled, to, you know, and they see from social media that I can bitch about everything. And if you bring something one minute late to me, you're a fucking ass. You know, that kind of it's like, God. And people, the people up. that are, you're getting the flowers, they have no idea that you're actually trying to fix somebody else's mistake. Yeah. But they're going to blame yeah. you and be rude to you. I refuse to take those flowers. And I went... Okay. Yeah, fuck. you probably got it when it didn't get it as bad as her son, so just be thankful for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, my, I will not allow my son to pay for those flowers. And I went, all right, I'm just letting you know that I just got the order today. So, you know, that's why I'm delivering to you. Well, I will not take them, and I will not let my son pay for those. And then she's reaching for the card, and I was like, what are you doing? She's like, I want the card. I'm like... 
ripped it right out of her hand. I was nice. like, you ain't getting the card. There you, you fucking go. And like I told them, I said, if that lady had been nice and went, oh, my son, I'd have given her that card all day long. I don't give a fuck. But just the way she acted to me, it's like, <clears> I didn't rip that fucking thing out. I was like, you ain't getting the card. And I went to walk away and her dogs came out and is jumping all over me. And she's trying to be mad, yet trying to, you know, still grab her jo- dog from jumping all over me. <laughs> and then I knew it was coming. And I turned around. And she's like, and my son is not paying for those flowers. And bam, I just slammed the door right in my face. Like, she would have thrown, she would have thrown her bitch. arrangement against the door, just <laughs> smashed it. And then I would have got arrested oh, yeah. for littering or something. Something. <laughs> Destroying property or some bullshit like that. I took this nice one. So what a fucking bitch. A nice, nice, expensive arrangement to this woman, and she's like, "I'm, I'm leaving town tomorrow. I don't want them." Oh. Good one. That was a good one. That was strong, <laughs> strong. And then she farted on me, <laughs> and I said, "Well, they've paid for you to get these flowers." You know that's the way it is. You have, you have yeah. to take them I got the because they're going to pay for. They have to pay for them anyway. And then uh, I, later on, she calls the shop. Well, and she said, "I'm leaving for Canada yeah. tomorrow." So I said, oh, okay. and she called the shop, and she said that it was a you know there was a terrible arrangement, and the flowers were falling out of yeah. it. It was it looked terrible. That's what they always do. It's like I was just there. I just it was beautiful. I was admiring it. It's mm-hmm. like this is a very nice, expensive arrangement as I gave it to. Yeah. Her. They when they don't get what they want from one lie, they just move on to another lie. Yep. And then when they don't get what they want from that lie, they move to another lie. People just they just all become such liars and assholes. It's like, oh, I fucking hate a dealing with them. Anymore. I'm just so Kids. chill. Nobody can get mad at me. Nobody's ever gotten mad at me that I was yeah. delivering to yet. And then you get you didn't know. deliver the day after. A lot of guys <laughs> dangling dicks and balls in my face, you know, in the in these nudist <laughs> colonies. <laughs> but you know, that's about the worst I've got it. <laughs> This hot That's weather, I, uh, I went to uh, Lake Como a couple of weeks ago, yeah. delivering, and oh, they were out. They were out in full out force. About. The dudes, the dark dudes. Guy was out there, all dark and nude, trimming the bushes. I cut my dick off. I mean, I guess pants aren't really doing much, you know, so you wouldn't. I was doing a little I bit think there. I think you like you've got those one of those trimmers, like you're tri- trimming God, the hedges. I just can't. That, I don't think I think you might save your dick if you have jeans on. <laughs> you yeah. might. But if you do oh, 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 jams, it jams on your dick, and it's stuck I guess it in there. Would oh. you hear about that? Uh, like, I, kind of <laughs> uh, I don't know. Would that would that make that the news? That makes the news. <laughs> I guess that's a hip Maybe. deal. Maybe I don't know. I think Weston got the, the nudist colonies on Saturday. He got both of them. They're out in full force. Mm-hmm. It's nude weather. It's like 90 degrees out there. Man, that was super nice. humid- humidity. It's supposed to rain. We need rain. It's crispy as heck. Crispy. Horses have nothing to eat. It's all crispy. It's yeah. hard. To- <coughs> Hasn't rained in a month and a half down here. Delivering flowers right now is just, I can't stop stopping, you know, and just... Just checking out ponds, you know, like that are drying up. That are dried up, you know, and you're like, oh my god, that huge fucking pond's dried up into a puddle. I bet, you, bet there's a bunch of fish. Got to be some puddle. big bass in that little puddle. <laughs> He's just like those young guys. He's like my my one of my flower wholesalers. He carries a fishing pole in his truck. Yeah, I'm I like, saw him pulled over the other day fishing. <laughs> I was like, that's the fucking guy. <laughs> I was like, what you doing? What do you know with a uh, fishing pole in your truck, Evan? <laughs> well, you know, there's a lot of ponds where I go. I got to I gotta, gotta pull over occasionally and fish. <laughs> you'll see I was like, these, that's what my sons do. <laughs> sometimes you'll see these ponds by the side of the road, and they're kind of covered by trees yeah. or whatever, and you're like, hmm, but that hasn't been fished a lot. Yeah. That's, we used to do that. When, Trace, when he was younger, he liked to fish a lot, and we'd... we'd Go over to all these. I used to. I used to buy. I used to buy tilapia at the store, but I've never like caught one. But a lot, a lot of these, you know, ponds like that. I think they put them in, or I don't know if they're just invasive. They may have originally put them in, or something, and then they became and you know spread everywhere. But I mean, there's so many of them, and are do they taste just as good as the ones you buy at the store, or better even? Probably better. (laughs) Like, why aren't people just like? 
Fishing for tilapia. It's all in all these ponds making dinner. I guess that's just not what people do anymore, like to buy their food. But just you know, I, I'm, I've been thinking about doing it. But then I think about the yards that are all nice around it. You have so many chemicals that are draining in this retention pond. Yeah. The fish, fish might be uh, toxic. I don't yeah. know which is worse. I saw a couple yards. Yeah, some yards are not dried up like ours, but. I guess they probably water spr- yeah. I've I've sprinkled a little. I get out the sprinkler <laughs> once a year in May when it's real dry. I figure I have the right to sprinkle in a drought because I don't sprinkle yeah. at all. I don't use hardly any water mm-hmm. around here. Yeah, we definitely have earned our rights to. It's not a thing. You don't earn your rights to break the law. I think you should. Yeah, you <laughs> that's, that's how I rationalize in it. A, it's like in a rational world, you, you do. It's like I no, don't but you, I mean, you, you sprinkle in a drought, you or you don't in a drought. I mean, it's just I get to sprinkle in a <laughs> drought because I never sprinkle my lawn. I let mm-hmm. it just go. I don't fertilize it. We don't pollute any. Don't really care about the lawn. Just try to keep it green, whether it's weeds or grass, as long as it's green and not dirt. Here's the Sean Raz Karen of the week. Woo. It's a cloudy day in the Florida Keys where deputies catch up with one woman who may not exactly be in a sunshine state of mind. Hello. Sorry. For what? Are you okay? Huh? All right. We, we got a call about your driving that you were having problems staying in the lane. So, and I thought it was weird that you kind of like put your turn signal on and you took a while to figure out where you're going. And then when you made the left, you made this really wide turn. You okay? You sure? Okay. You have your license, registration, proof of insurance? So she drunk, and I would imagine. Do you think being drunk turns you into a Karen, accentuates your Karen, or accentuates your Karen? <laughs> accentuates your Karenness? Yeah, that's what I mean. The woman seen here was stopped after multiple callers reported an erratic driver. Why are you pulling me over? Well, I didn't really. I was following you because we got a call about your driving, and people were saying, I mean, from from the 100-mile marker, they were calling about a red, yes. (laughs) And so when you pulled in here, you made a very... I'm not going to do that. You're not going to do what? No. Put your car in park. Put your car in park. No. Car in park now. Why? Ma'am, put your car in park. Step out all the way in park. Step out of the car for me. Because you were about to take off on me, and you are now lawfully detained. So please step out of the vehicle. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. Ma'am, please step out. No. No? No. So either... Listen, step out of the car. I'm giving you a lawful Let order to step out of the car. people that just say no. <laughs> Put your car in park. No. <laughs> is that a drunk thing or is that more of a recent thing? Because all these people say no and they all act like mm-hmm. they know their rights. Because they watch it's, social media stuff on this and they think they can't be touched. Do you think people they were turning be. down cops requests back in the day? <laughs> no, not getting out of my car. I don't know. It seems, <laughs> seems like a new thing. Mm-hmm. Then I want to record everything. You, we're I recording want, too. Then I will record. We're recording. Then I will record everything. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> but you see, need to step I'm gonna out record of the car. everything. Uh, <laughs> oh, I love all these drunks getting evidence against themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Constantly. <laughs> no, please <laughs> let me record everything. No. First, you step out of the no, car. Then I'll you record it. I'm gonna prove Ma'am. I'm drunk. <laughs> Here. You don't want to miss no. this. Well, you're really? either really yes. Really? Yes. So we've given you several lawful orders for you to step out of the car. You're refusing those orders. <laughs> and I'm telling you to get out of the car right now. Let you me tell get me to get out of the car right yeah. now? Yes. For yes. what? Because I'm conducting a DUI investigation, that's DUI? why. DUI? Yes. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? I'm on pills. Yeah. We're not <laughs> yeah. Deputies identify the woman as 60-year-old Deborah Odom who decides now is a good time to share a message to her followers. So here we are. <laughs> breast cancer. I just had my I just had my third treatment of breast cancer. <laughs> wow, she's laying on thick. Yeah. Man. Laying on thick. People have stopped me. 
Okay. So you think that's cool? <laughs> well, um, based on the fact no. that several people called in that they were concerned about your driving, and I doubt you several people them, called in. I, I understand. Okay. So my next question to you is, based on the fact that, given that I could smell alcohol in your breath, okay, you're swaying okay. on your stand. I'm going to ask if you want to consent to some. Do you have sobriety exercises? Of course I would. But, okay. But, um, I just lost. What? What'd she lose? I don't know. <laughs> she pointed at her boobs. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. The Edmund Fitzgerald's playing in the background. You just lost what? It just is something with my followers. <laughs> Deputies with the Monroe County Sheriff's Office try to get Deborah to do some field sobriety tests, but she has a better idea in mind. Why don't we just call Rick and let's just let's just talk to him and let's just let's just please please. Well, I don't I don't understand how the sheriff is going to help you out of this situation because I've known him for ten years and like and like he knows I'm not a retard. Well, nobody has called you that, nor do we think that. <laughs> Let's she thinks she's over getting here. pulled over for being hard out. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go over here and let's, let's Oh, she's going to take off. She's getting back in her car. <laughs> Do me a favor, well, turn. I want to just record it. I just want to record. Okay, well, we're getting to turn the point. Turn your car off. And listen, we're going to have to take this away from you. Yeah, how so long do you get to just keep to your phone uh, and I'm g I'm busy posting on social media and making videos. How long do you get to do that? I don't think you get. I mean, she's being allegedly lawfully detained. Yeah. Well, they could yank you know, that these cops from, do. They, you know, I guess they're maybe they're not escalating in this one, which is good for them. But <laughs> you know, like I feel like if I got pulled over and I was wasted and I'm just like, hold on, let's live stream this moment. Hey, I'm being pulled over <laughs> by the police. These guys suck, man. Like, <laughs> they just be, they just arrest me right there you maybe know? if you're not waiting to put it up on social media as the <laughs> cops maybe then they do that to you maybe hmm. uh, she probably didn't even recording she, uh, yeah. no. phone's her dead. phone's her dead phone's she dead. had it plugged in <laughs> yeah <laughs> like and subscribe she's not live <laughs> i'm not live at all <laughs> followers exercises no of course then not. let's finish of that course not. then let's I, finish i love them. you guys like i don't want anything <laughs> I don't want to be in this position either, okay? But I don't. I also and want I, to. No, like, put, please put the phone down. <laughs> I want to record all you guys. We're recording and too. She, she acts like she don't want to be. Like she got back. I know you did not. Ma'am. Listen, all right. We're, she, we're done. You got my license? Yes. Oh, oh, here we go. The suspect's <laughs> attempt to snatch her license back from deputies earns her a fast pass into handcuffs. Mm -hmm. Let's see how that goes for her. Nope, not mess up, because this is not gonna end well for you. Are you kidding me? No, we are not kidding you. Give me, give me my phone. Can you give let me him know what They're always so cares about. They're always so surprised this is happening to them. They can't believe it. Mm -hmm. they, just and, can't, they can't believe it. And they act like their phone is their just uh, I don't know what man. Oh, thank you. My phone, my phone. Give me my phone. Were you were, were, when the airport when we were watching the airport crashes? Were you in here? Mm -hmm. And the guy throws yeah. it. That's well, his the first thing. He says one thing about him, you know, drowning or anything. Just uh, gotta get that phone to the shore. Yeah. Save the phone. <laughs> give me my phone. Sixty one one code five. We'll have one in custody. Give me my phone. Your phone's going with us. Give no, phone give, phone me with phone. Phone. no. <laughs> give me my phone. No. Give me my phone. Your phone what you got on that phone, darling? <laughs> what you got on there? Go with you. Do you want to take this? I'll take it. Okay. No. Are give you BTO certified? She, no. she, she chose that. Like, she has got some kind of going on with him. So, oh, we'll just... Really? Yes. Really? Like, you're you threatening me? No. We're I'm walking. Please, stop. Are you going to walk with me, or are we going to have Can to carry you to my Can I just stop my... My... What's that thing God. called again? Can I not <laughs> <at> all? <laughs> We're going to take care of all that. Is there anything other than your phone that you want to do? You're hurting to me! You? You're hurting me! Oh, they always. You're hurting 
<laughs> oh my god! I don't, I, I'm surprised we're not a lawless nation with zero cops. <laughs> this is what you got to deal with nonstop. Hey, you hurting me! Uh, you hurting me! Uh, you hurting me! Uh, you hurting me! Uh, you hurting me! We got a screamer. Ball uh, <laughs> gag. <laughs> See the thing now when the cops are really beating you up, really <laughs> yeah. roughing you, nobody's gonna believe you mm-hmm. because every video of somebody going, "They're killing me! I can't <laughs> breathe! They're killing me!" <laughs> yeah. I can only take. 10, I don't think they're hurting her. Ten seconds at a time. I don't think they're hurting her at all. <laughs> then so, what do you do? She needs. Cause you don't want her to fall to the ground, cause then you gotta. Yeah, she pick needs. That she up. needs to eat some pavement, I think. <laughs> shut her up! I'll shut her up. Knock a few teeth out. <laughs> oh my god! Stop! Stop! <laughs> Imagine if this is you and you get it. This is all over the world. <laughs> Everybody gets to see this. He needs to remix this. It's a smash hit. <laughs> You're hurting me. <laughs> Deputies are able to get Deborah down on the ground while they wait for reinforcement. Under statute 1314. Statute. Statute. Statute 1314. <laughs> statute 1314. I'm allowed 14 minutes. And I'm exactly. allowed that you that I'm allowed to be picked up. Where where where's my where where am I? You're not 14 Man. minutes of what? She's out of her mind, drunk. <laughs> she, She's co- uh, completely incoherent. 13.4. Where am I? <laughs> where am I? <laughs> You're in the parking lot of Ocean Gardens. Yeah. 13.14 minutes. Where the f are you? <laughs> I'm standing right here next to you. She is lost. It. Yeah. Gra- oh, aren't you so aren't you so proud? <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is this is your this is your this is your life. This is your life. <laughs> <laughs> People are like let's get out of here. Yeah. This, I'm, I'm your son's teacher. I'm your son's teacher. No, I don't <laughs> Man, so now she's blowing in herself as a teacher. Oh, she's gonna get fired. She's gonna get fired. I don't think she's there as a teacher. I'm pretty sure of it. Get this off of me! No, no, you heard it. People are like, she's not my son's teacher. Yeah. I can't breathe. I'm telling you, I cannot breathe. Why? Do you need an ambulance? I need an ambulance. Oh Jesus! Sixty-two eleven. She, she's oh. hurt me. She's hurt me. She's Sixty-two eleven. Can you roll rescue oh, twenty God, our please, way, reference? Our arrestee is unable to breathe. <laughs> Thank God, this. Uh, you're so if you say you can't breathe, they gotta call them. I know. know. Yeah. Back in the old days, mm-hmm. the cop would just say, "You can breathe. Shut up." Yeah, <laughs> you're talking, so you can breathe. Sick. You're so. Sick. Deputies call an ambulance for our suspect who decides it's time for the performance of a lifetime. Oh, jeez, oh, I thought that already was. <laughs> so I can breathe. Uh, 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 <laughs> Is she having a baby? So what we're going to do turn you on. <laughs> I think having she's a baby. having a child. <laughs> They said that they should say, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were with child. <laughs> He's having sex with a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Is this her OnlyFans account? <laughs> I don't think you do that for any reason. <laughs> Look at that guy. Minding my own business. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. I am not involved. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to do with this. This madness. Oh, look at her. She, she's quivering. Quivering and shaking. 
<laughs> she's, she's, I mean, she's too drunk to fix these out. <laughs> she can't even do it realistically. <laughs> this is the most embarrassing uh, one, I think, yeah, so far. She's pretty embarrassing. Not that there's a bunch of people around, but I mean, there are, so you can see, like, I think in the restaurant, there's some people <laughs> eating. But they, when this goes on the internet and this is you, <laughs> I mean, you, there's no coming back from this, is there? <laughs> there's coming back from this fake seizure shit. You, you live like, it's a black market teaching jobs and. As soon as you get the job, everybody's three weeks later, they're like, oh, well, we saw the video. Yeah. 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 And you're like, oh, not again. We're going to escort you out of the classroom <laughs> before you hurt the children. <laughs> it's like a headless woman having an orgasm. <laughs> Look at those cops. They're just like... <laughs> So they just stand over. I'm like, oh, All right, oh my God. <laughs> Was there another unit coming? <laughs> God, please help me. From where? Oh, God, please help me. You serve on that? Please help me. Please help me. Here, I will help you up. <laughs> no, she's yeah. What is she she's doing? She's face fucking the ground. She's face, she's face <laughs> what, the, what the hell? Is, uh, what the hell is she doing? Is my <laughs> Here, I will help you up. <laughs> <laughs> Roll on your side. Roll on your side, Deb. <laughs> She thinks she's just gonna get her out of it. I think. Yeah. I think she's like, "This is it. I'm, this I'm is my good. ticket to freedom." You <laughs> gotta let me go after this, right? Oh she's gonna be shocked. They don't let her go. Do they? I mean, do they have them see these videos? <laughs> let me go. I almost died. When she wakes up in a cell tomorrow morning, does she have any idea she's done any of this? Does she have any regret? Is my question. I bet she does when she watches this video. Oh my God. And HRA says, I wonder what her good friend Rick the Sheriff would say Minutes about later, it. later, other deputies and medics arrived to help. Oh. <laughs> They're all so concerned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, oh, they know what's going on. Mm -hmm. They know exactly what's going on. They got a code for this, probably. I bet you they know, do. Three eighteen. When, when she <laughs> said some numbers, be I think before she asked for an ambulance, because don't you have to give them some kind of yeah. Iggy Iggy that <laughs> iggy. we don't need an ambulance that you know? Because she said she's unable to breathe, so that would make them want to get there quick and yeah. you know someone that can't breathe. So she must have given the three eighteen <sighs> Iggy or whatever that. The K, the K305, crying She's Karen drunk, Iggy. Yeah. Crying Karen Iggy. Yeah. But she, yeah, 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 How come they have to get back up? Like, what's this lady able to do that they are not able to do? One of them looked like a med uh, uh, EMT, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> they need a ball gag for these it's people. They this should is say, it's obviously you can breathe yeah, you can't, or you wouldn't be screaming. <laughs> you wouldn't like be that. screaming. <laughs> <laughs> if, you just, if you're at that restaurant, do you just continue to eat? Like I know. Going on? <laughs> I, I mean, know. It's like they're all... <laughs> I'm sure through the glass you hear... <laughs> 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 You're with your kids. Yeah. Going, ah, 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 ah. Is everybody thinking they're eating for free? <laughs> well, then they'll get a bunch of Karens in the restaurant. Oh, it's they're a Karen. Entitled, oh, God. They're it's like something. throwing up. It's, it's contagious. <laughs> <laughs> the Karens. The Karen wave of Karens just got set off. Sweeping the nation. <laughs> what is that? Look at that guy. He knows. He knows the deal. Mm -hmm. He's laughing. She didn't want that. No, so she hurt her. She hurt me. She hit me. She hit me. The uh, she dipped me in the face. She calmed down our suspect, who seems to have recovered from that breathing issue. <laughs> okay. So no injuries. You just a little unbalanced. I'm sorry. 
claiming she couldn't breathe. She just said her that just said, I'm sorry. <laughs> just a little embarrassed. <laughs> a whole lot embarrassed. Well, let's hear some of your put downs, Deb. Okay. No. Can I can I stand you up? Of course you can. Okay. I'm gonna stand you up. All right. Do this. Ready? Okay. Ready. When Point. do you think the racial slurs start flying? <laughs> 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 While deputies so load Deborah into a patrol wants. car, other investigators search her vehicle. No sir. top. Are they still cold? Yeah. No top in the back. Okay. Did oh, you see that? Not. Let's open, open container. Deputies find an open bottle of wine in Deborah's <laughs> car, but that's not all. <laughs> hey, we got we got more wine here, <laughs> but it's not open. <laughs> she's she was, she was yeah. gonna get the tore up. Find a full bottle of wine and a completely empty bottle. She she downed three bottles of uh, yeah. Yes Way Rosé. <laughs> <laughs> no way, Rosé. Uh. Well, in the front seat of our suspect's car, before all is said and done, deputies uncovered two empty bottles of wine, <laughs> one half-full bottle and one unopened bottle. She was drinking the whole four pack. She was. One deputy prepares to drive Deborah to the station. When it seems clear, our suspect should have said, No way, Rosé. Yeah, you stole my joke. <laughs> uh, she's still hacking it. It made it less funny. <laughs> I did. She's choking me. Here's how I got all the transcripts in the front seat. She's choking me. <laughs> Another deputy goes to check on that situation. Hey, ma'am. Ah, is there somebody in the back seat with her choking her? What's, <laughs> what is she talking about? <laughs> well, she just said the girl. <laughs> that ghost that fucked her. <laughs> yeah. See, maybe. maybe. Oh, gee. Oh, look at that. Maybe, there's, maybe there's a ghost fucking her. I'm, She's getting I'm, I'm sorry I talked all that shit about ghosts. Like, <laughs> I'm a believer. Finally. <laughs> Finally, woman gets raped by ghosts. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? How embarrassing. The, emba the embarrassment. Of the whole, every Everything. everybody you know watching Seeing this. this. The la I mean, it was bad before. This is the last 10 seconds, this is just horrifyingly embarrassing. I mean, the first couple of seconds, I was like, I'm not going to say she looks like she's getting fucked. And then I was like, there's no but option. Everybody's thinking mm -hmm. it. Everybody's thinking it. <laughs> How do these cops maintain their ghost. composure? I know. How are they not like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> mm. Ma'am. Jesus, God. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Leave her right there. again. She's still going at it. They're not even paying any attention. They're being choked by a ghost. She's choking me. She's choking me. She's choking me. Here she's a loot. She's. <laughs> hey Debbie, are you allowed to go yet? Yeah. Debbie, Deb, uh, Deborah, can I talk to you real quick? Deputies are able to calm <laughs> Deborah down again and get her to the station for a breathalyzer oh, test. How they do that? God. You act, you act like I'm some kind of crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> 
Stop! <laughs> I wonder Stop. why. Let go of me. Let go of me. Please, we're Let not gonna. We're me. not gonna do this again. Oh, oh yeah, we are. I think we are. I think we are. <laughs> yeah. She's fixing to go down. No, we good. No, we're good. No, we're good. <laughs> Come on, sit. Thank you. Stop. <laughs> no, stop it. If you bite me, you're going to get another charge, okay? Stop. So stop. Relax. Did I wouldn't even say that? the word bite. Deborah yeah. appears. Don't give her any ideas. <laughs> to bite at the deputy. Get off of me. Deb. Relax. Get off of me. Relax, Deb. Get off of me. Relax. <sighs> get off of me. Relax. You're choking. Nobody's choking. You're choking me. No one's choking you, Deb. Relax. Can they Stop take the camera me. around to the front? Yeah, we want that angle. Can you guys have your ID? Yeah. I, yeah, I have it in the car. Before <laughs> heading to jail, uh, our suspect hurls a few more insults. Oh. Can you please open your mouth for me so I can make sure you can don't you have to Please open your mouth and shut the f up. Oh, okay. 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 Can he check? Can he just look real quick? Check her f mouth. Okay. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Uh, she got a in it. <laughs> Another loud <laughs> tantrum. <laughs> Can I go yet? Yeah. Is this the woman that you tried to deliver those flowers to yesterday? <laughs> I think <babe>? so. <laughs> <laughs> And a racial rant. Oh, oh there you go. You're so you're so you're you're united. Wow. A black person and a white person united. <laughs> but you don't give a f about her. You're stupid. <laughs> you hate her. You hate her because she's black. You can't stand it. <laughs> she gets everything that you think that you oh, wait, should get. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Deborah. Yeah. Deborah. Say, oh, <laughs> this, woman, this woman is out of control. She gets everything. Oh, she shouldn't get everything. She shouldn't. Get she... <laughs> if you refuse to take the test, I have. Sit down. <laughs> you didn't tell me to sit down. All before suddenly forgetting how to speak English. How about English? Oh, I request a uh, uh, interpreter right now. And if I. <laughs> Let go. <laughs> She's like, I knew that girl hated me. <laughs> Deputies managed to get Deborah to the jail where things don't exactly cool down. What do you think she called her? We both know what you did. I, I had to stop. I'm, I'm, I'm having breast cancer. <laughs> She's having it right now. She's having it. Stop it. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't speak. Don't. Okay. Deborah's search before she's taken inside the jail <laughs> where she's asked to remove her jewelry. <clears throat> Spoiler alert, she doesn't take that request very well. <laughs> <laughs> we have to take the jewelry off. This black girl just keeps <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> someone just keeps laughing at it. This is why I stopped. <laughs> Oh my god, here we go again. <laughs> I mean, if I was her, oh I would be god. so exhausted. <laughs> like, she just keeps going, How man. I would even have a voice the stamina still. Stamina of this woman. And I mean, <laughs> screaming like a banshee <laughs> for, for 15 minutes. More, oh more battery. <laughs> <laughs> Are you joking her out? Uh, yeah. <laughs> covering her mouth. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> he can't choke her out to death. <laughs> Didn't she pull his hand off? I think so. That girl? Yes, yeah, she's like, so. you can't choke her to death. Yeah. <laughs> I know you want to cover her mouth, but you can't because she's going to pretend like we just killed her. Okay. You want to get the turn? Stop hurting me. Stop hurting me. Stop hurting me. Oh, my God. Why are you hurting me? He's Debbie, we talked about this. My baby. All right, Miss Debbie, we talked about this, right? <laughs> oh my god. Stop. <laughs> Deputies then decide Dad. it's time to restrain our <laughs> oh, suspect yeah. in the chair. It's about oh my time. god. <laughs> Look at that. Look at The video gets worse. It gets I worse know. and worse. He thought, oh, well, mom, mom, <laughs> when you were pretending to get effed in the back of the car, it was bad with this. Silence of the lamb treatment. <laughs> Man, she ain't sobering up anytime soon. Get off of me! 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 Like, I, I, an all-time I couldn't Karen. do this. Like, I, like after, I'd be exhausted. Like, you know, she's I, in great shape. <laughs> she is in great shape. <laughs> and plus, you're blackout drunk. Uh, doing all this while you're blackout. That's a lot of effort. She's like rabid, you know. She's like somebody that's possessed. That talk about an exorcism. <laughs> this is when they need an exorcism. Uh, she, she needs to put down. Like they I, need to, yeah. I call the CDC. <laughs> they need to bring a priest in. And this is like a scene from The Exorcist <laughs> right here. Watch. Get off of <laughs> Bring the priest. Get off. Get off. That mother I mean, her head's gonna start oh spinning in a minute. <laughs> I think she's threatening to kill him now. Mm -hmm. She's threatening to kill him. Is she? You get the fuck off of me. You get the fuck off of me. Down. You tell that motherfucker to get the fuck off of me. Calm down. Spit shield's gonna be coming pretty soon, yeah, Deb. Yeah. Better calm down, Deb. What's he getting out? <laughs> He's like happy to get out, whatever. He uh, <laughs> duct tape is what they need. Calm down. Please. I think he's getting the hood on. Oh, he might be getting the hood. He might be getting the hood. That's not going to go over well. <laughs> oh, it's the hood. It's the hood. It's the hood. Deputies decide to place a spit mask. Oh, oh. she's getting the spit mask. God, it keeps getting worse. Oh, here we go. Debbie, I'm trying to work this is where we ended up. Okay. I'm trying to work with you. I'm not doing anything to you. I don't want this video to end. She it's don't know what's happening right left. now. You have to, okay? <laughs> Deborah Odom was charged with DUI and resisting arrest. She <laughs> later pled no contest to the charges and was sentenced to probation along with a suspended license That's and it, fines. Probation. <laughs> All that work for nothing. Hand <laughs> like this. <laughs> and it starts all over again <laughs> I can't breathe And you're about to see me flip out What do you think, I'm crazy? <laughs> Here we go again Here we go again Here we go again Here we go again Oh, that, was all, that was a possibly an all-time Karen no, right there. I mean, <laughs> she just I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted after that. What a nut. Wow. I, just, I, would, I wish I. Oh, I should. I should look up her name and on Facebook and see if she puts up. Like, do they go on their own Facebook and put up an apology 
of how they act. I'm sorry that everybody had to see me act like that or anything like that. You just move to a different state and pretend like it never happened. They'll find it. <laughs> They'll find that video. How embarrassing. God. I'll try to find her name. Okay, here it is. You even Deborah Odom. D E B O R A H O D O M. 50 years old. Where was this? They said, didn't they? Oh, it was in the Florida. I don't know. Qu- keys somewhere down was there. Was it in the Keys? At the very <laughs> beginning, it said the Florida somewhere. Oh, oh well, I won't find that. But yeah, th- 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 do some research on her. So I'd like to know more about this woman. What does she, what does a woman like this do for a living? <laughs> she's a teacher. She's your son. <laughs> she's a son's teacher. <laughs> she's a son's teacher. Whew, and I wonder if she was a teacher. And I wonder if she got fired. She doesn't look mentally stable to be around children at all. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was, that was a pretty good one. Thank you, Sean Raz. We appreciate Woo. it. Man, I pulled up to... Lauren never apologized for this, but I pulled up to a to a, this truck. It was a Velociraptor. I don't know what that means. And she, yeah. she's like, you're an idiot. It's a ra- Ford Raptor. And I was like, no, it was a Ford <laughs> Velociraptor. <laughs> And we looked it up, and there's a. F- it's, Is there it's a? It's got f- yeah, <laughs> but it, I noticed it because it had six, six wheels, but like, not like a dually, but like one in front of the other one. It was oh. so fucking weird <laughs> looking. Huh. It was huge. Six wheels. Yeah. And what did she never apologize for? No, and she uh, thinking uh, you were uh, crazy. Yeah, she's like you're cr- insane. <laughs> it's a Raptor, Trace. You know, which I, is, is the only Ford, thing I've is, ever heard is of. Is either. it a f- oh, Ford? Is it a Ford? Yeah, Ford Velociraptor. I spell correctly. Ford Velociraptor. Oh, I see. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, that's one wheel after you. Is that just for looks? I that's. Is it, is it, like that's I what guess it's I not was, as wide. It makes it not as wide. Maybe. I, I don't know. know. That's what really blew my mind. I was like, Does that, can that work? <laughs> I don't know about the Ford Velociraptor trace. I, I, I like this. This new one. What is this? The, uh, the, the comment, f- the comment said Peyton Manning's new, a new truck. <laughs> 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 What is the purpose of that? What is the purpose of that? What is the purpose of that? You're a basketball player? I don't know. I mean, is that kind more of, headroom? Is that? I mean, is that is that a legitimate thing? Is it a somebody aftermarket this? Can you aftermarket that, or is that a new pickup truck? And I don't why? Know. It looks somebody. I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to try it out. Maybe it's a lot of headroom. Yes. <laughs> Where's the? Th- is that not the one with the six wheels? No. You didn't oh, see that one. I just couldn't see the where the six, where the two extra wheels were. Let me try to make it. Bigger. Oh. See in the back here. Okay, instead yeah. of instead of being a dually. Yeah, they're behind. Okay. Hmm. All right. Velociraptor, <laughs> and it was the same light that I just saw another giant truck. And then somebody had a Tesla, and there was a, you know, like one of those really fancy BMWs. Yeah. Just like, is everybody, was everybody rich? Everybody's got a $200,000 car? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> Couldn't tell you what's going on. Yeah. Have you seen a... Red, have you lo- seen? Red Lobster went broke. I don't know what's going on. Oh, what are the trucks called? The Elon Musk ones? Cybertruck. Yeah, have you seen one yet? Mm-hmm. Not out in... I haven't. The wild, no. Oh, really? You've been mm-hmm. delivering? I saw How like many three. I've really? seen four what? or five Out in this, area, in this area? Yeah, I've seen them in one, in, you know, by where I live and a couple of couple. delivering. Huh. Never seen one. Mm-mm, I've never seen one. They Maybe got, I haven't looked for them. They all got recalled. Every one of them. What for? For some kind of accelerator problem. I think the foot pedal, when if you floor it, the foot pedal gets like stuck on it, it slides off a little bit and gets <laughs> jammed under, <laughs> under something. Oh, and that's it just nice. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> All right. All right. We are out of here. So Thanks we'll for tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow. We will be back tomorrow morning, a rare Wednesday show, 8 o'clock in the hang tomorrow night.
at 6. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you later. Have a good one, everyone.